morning. Good morning. It is Thursday. It's day seven of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard defamation trial, though. If you've been watching this trial, you've probably forgotten it was about defamation until yesterday afternoon when Johnny Depp started cross-examination. Court is going to be starting in just a few minutes, and we will be there, well, streaming live. It feels live to me. I'm going to say good morning and see where everybody's coming in from. Replay crew, we will do the best to timestamp as we can. These streams are about three hours long each because I do one for the morning and one for the afternoon of the court day just for my ease and for your ease and for the YouTube, the ease of the YouTubes. So Law Nerds, it's great to see you. We always have a really good time in the chat. I know everyone wants to talk about this testimony. And today we are getting into Johnny Depp's cross-examination with Mr. Rottenborn. Yes, that's his real last name, Rottenborn. And Johnny Depp seems to enjoy saying it. He's like, Hello, Mr. Rottenborn. He was getting into it yesterday. He was objecting back to the objections. Today could be fiery. And while it's entertaining for us at home, it could really annoy the jury. And it could come across as arrogant. And if it shows a very different side to Johnny Depp, then it gives the defense for Amber Heard room to argue. See? You saw him kind of wandering and talking about explosions and raindrops of lava. But then when we talked to him, we got this very, very different person. And that doesn't always go well for him if he shows being two different people. So we are going to join the courtroom now. It looks like the jury is not in the courtroom yet. Once everybody stands up, we will have sound and go to it. Mr. Rottenborn's just getting his stuff to the podium. This is Rottenborn here. Oh, we're back to a suit today for Amber Heard. Johnny Depp is already on the witness stand as this jury comes in. He's getting ready. But Amber is wearing a stronger suit with a low ponytail. Um, Dolores Umbridge is not wearing pink today. This is probably him handing the exhibits he's intending to use today to the um, to the defense team. He will probably be using some of these really uh, kind of difficult text messages we've seen. So while we're getting ready for court to start, I'm going to go ahead and roll the intro. Y'all know how we do here. If you're new, pop a one in the chat and welcome. Let's get rolling for day seven of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. Hey there, if we haven't met yet, I'm Emily D. Baker, the badass lawyer and everyone's favorite legal commentator. I'm the host of The Emily Show, and I break down the legal shit behind the news and pop culture stories we all want to talk about. I have been a licensed attorney for over 15 years, but this is not legal advice. I should warn you, I'm a big fan of the cursey words. This channel is where the law nerds unite to talk about facts, not Fuckery. It's so good to see everyone. They still haven't started yet. So we're just going to be kind of popping through and saying hello. The things I'm looking for today is for them to go through. Oh, the judge has walked in. That's them. All rise means the judge is walking in. They've called court to session and then they will say any preliminary matters. Exhibit. And then they'll call in the jury. 1458. This is a packed courtroom today. All right. Move redaction. Some days there's been a lot more space, but we get into cross-examination. Right. Everybody's eyes perk up. We've been entered in evidence. We'll just take a copy of it. Thank you. Anything else? We have the um, thumb drive with the additional. With the uh, the shit from yesterday. Knife pictures on it for me. 92 and 93. Great. Yeah. Your Honor, with Thank the shit from yesterday. They can't say that All in right. court. They don't even want to. I just want to. I used to wear heels like this in trial. All right. Anything further? It's exhausting. I found it exhausting. All right, we're ready for the jury. I started wearing um, a very sensible low kitten heel by, well, I was having back problems too, but I couldn't wear the spiky, spiky heels in trial. It made me crazy. So the jury will be walking and everyone will stand up. So much for a short, quick cross. I mean, we don't know. This could still be a quick cross. We could still just hammer on the defamation and move on, but they might talk about some of the text messages. I hope they keep focus, but they did talk a lot about these incidents in see Amber Heard smiling as the jury's coming in. We saw them talk about a lot of these incidents in opening statements, but Amber Heard can do that. This is the pool photographer with the large camera. He's got his press badge. Um, I don't know who it, who they're from. I don't know if it's Getty Images or where the pool photographer is from, but there is one pool photographer in the front and one 
bank of uh, cameras allowed in the courtroom. I believe the person morning, that and won the lottery was Court TV. So, I'm right. also drinking coffee in Tennessee, Savannah. Cross examination. <clears throat> Good morning, moderators. Thank you so much. It's been a long week. I don't know if they did. I don't know. Maybe. I, I kind of hope they asked him to tone down the sass, but we'll see. Um, sorry, my screen didn't close or shrink morning, properly. Morning, Mr. Roddenborough. <laughs> yes, Mr. Uh, two days ago, when you first took the stand, you discussed your upbringing and some of the abuse Possibly. that you suffered at the hands of your mother. Do you remember that? He's not coming in so yes, hot today, which is appropriate. And you testified how she abused you physically, Morning, Paul. right? We're getting right into it. Throwing things at you, hitting you. Yeah, there was quite a... I'll talk about this. Yeah, I've had celebrities very, as victims on cases. Of, uh, physical abuse. And she abused you verbally by insulting you and your siblings, right? You're welcome. Yeah, she did. And you testified that We're getting right into child abuse. abuse. That emotional abuse was worse Early. than beatings, right? You remember that? As a child, it um, it um, has more of an opportunity to plant itself in your head. Sure. Yes. So you'd agree that this is the way he can talks. Take many forms. It can be physical, can be verbal, can be emotional, right? Indeed. And you you testified that your dad wasn't abusive, but that you saw him punch walls. Yes, there can when be redirect after cross sometimes, right? Whether there's a recross or not will <coughs> depend me, on what um, was asked. I, I I witnessed my father the the only um, yeah judges are just people reaction that would be called a physical reaction. Good from, judges aren't super uh, egotistical. Was, uh, very stoically taking uh, from my mother. Um, I saw him maybe twice, three times, uh, punch a wall once, as I said, once he punched To be the fair, it's the first the time I've done a live trial on this hand, channel. Uh, I normally totter around law to and say hi to everybody. Right. Mr. Depp, your walls weren't the only thing that your father punched, were they? In fact, once he, he punched you in the face and knocked you down, didn't he? Um... He, yes, when I was, um, he could have cut him off after the yes. 15 years this is old. a direct this answer. Was, I'm glad he's not. Uh, this was just before I had uh, uh, dropped out of uh, high school. One morning, yes, uh, in my mind, I was done with school. Uh, so he had asked me to, I believe it was something, it, it was very, he asked me to uh, take the dog for a walk or something. I like that he's letting him answer. Garbage, I appreciate that. And, and uh, this is a critical tip. I just said uh, no, and he uh, and he gave me a he just gave me a quick shot, um, pretty hefty, and it, it, yeah, it. it uh, it rattled my head. It rattled the cage, you know, and Tweety sure. Birds and stuff. Sure. So the, the, the Tweety hadn't Birds heard about and stuff before when, when he punched you in the face, it actually knocked you to the ground. And then when you got up, you were all too happy to take care of what he wanted you to take care of. Right. I was excited to take care of it. Right. And yesterday, um, I you can hear the audience laughing. Why that means it's coming across well in the room for you. them. It doesn't work. You gave that testimony yesterday, didn't you? This is an interesting yes. tack. Now, you try to conduct yourself as a gentleman, right? Yes, sir. And you think that you live up to the standards Possibly. of a Southern gentleman, right? Um, that was essentially, you know, when you have deep, deep Can roots you please in define South Southern gentleman? Kentucky and such. Um, I need to start my notes for the day. I'm going to run out of paper. Your parents, your father your mother it's your grandparents it's your uncles it's your aunts it's this it's that it, it's a, yes we're in cross-examination today a, yes raised to be a southern gentleman that is to say when chivalry was uh, oh, still alive he's defining allowed. It. right when and chivalry you think was you still allowed the standards of a southern gentleman correct i believe i do i certainly have done my best all my life Paul Bettany's a good friend that you've done drugs with, right? 
These are some horrific text messages. Um, Paul Bettany is a good friend. Just a heads up. These are horrific. You've done drugs with him? Yes, I have. Cocaine, right? Uh, cocaine, yes. They keep Alcohol. hammering on the drugs. Alcohol. I don't know if it works Pills, for them. Pills, including Xanax and Adderall, right? Mm. I mean, if those are prescriptions. That I'm not so sure of. Okay. Um Where is he going? No. <laughs> we don't know where he's going. Oh, he's probably walking over to something. But the the running commentary probably won't go. Your Honor, may we approach? Well. I just want to discuss one thing with you. Okay. Ms. Myers. The text messages, I'm sure. Okay, so Ms. Myers was the female attorney, the one in the high heels that I had commented about, that is doing the direct examination of Johnny Depp. I had thought it was Miss Vasquez because I had not seen her on screen and it was not, it was Miss Myers. So now they're going up to the bench and it looked like Umbridge was telling Heard what was going on or why they were approaching. The only one who doesn't know what's going on here is Johnny Depp, who just has to sit there awkwardly um, and twiddle his fingers in front of the jury while everyone stares at him, which is deeply fucking awkward for a witness. His attorneys might be looking at him just kind of um, just in a supportive way, but they cannot um, really give him anything. They cannot really give him any indication or any guide because he's the one on um, on direct exam. The Paul Bettany text messages come up with, um, you know, Amber Heard's rotting corpse and things like that. But I also don't think them hammering okay. on his drug use is a good look to them. Amber Heard took drugs as well. It doesn't make sense why they're trying to still portray him as this like drug fueled rageaholic. It's just not going to work. It hasn't worked. And all of the other testimony of his friends say he was not very different when he was on drugs. They're still Mr. trying Jeff, to hammer you, that image you to the jury. remember giving testimony in um, the trial in the UK, correct? Yes. And you gave that testimony under oath, right? Yes. Um, you were, you were, you gave quite a bit of testimony in that trial, right? I, I wouldn't be able to judge that myself. I don't, it felt like a lot. Okay. Well, what, let's how take do you a look quantify somebody. a lot? If you can turn to page 45, please, in front of you. Yes, and as it's, we it's are still page, doing the members um, only live at lunch, I'll the populate the stream for 7 p.m. tonight. Four transcript pages. Oh, page 12 of the document, certainly. Yes, sir. Yes, Paul Bettany, who plays Vision in the Marvel movies. Him. Oops. See, I think if they're getting to these text yes, messages sir. and harping on the drugs, it's just like, mm -hmm. oh, well, you know, we had taken and some drugs and we were being yes, hyperbolic. In the lower left corner, there's a page 45 do you see that yes, these cats right now are um, running across my desk like it's and a you fucking see that uh, on on the bottom of that page um there's a discussion of, of paul bettany and and the things drugs that you did together and there was a question the question is any sort of pills and your answer is yes there could have been xanax or if he needed if he asked for xanax or adderall whatever i would of course give it to him but that question. wasn't the question asked. So you would supply Paul Bettany with whatever that wasn't the question asked. He said heavy drugs he asked for. Is that right? <sighs> Answer: If he was feeling anxious, this or is if he improper was impeachment. Unpleasant, I would give him what he asked. For. Objection. Question: Would you give him a Xanax? Objection. Answer, yes. Improper impeachment. Did I read that right? You certainly did, yes, sir. But that's not the question he asked him. The you question shared, he asked him was: Had um, you done these things the together? You not, would you provide this together? Drugs or alcohol at that time, right? Ugh, I'm gonna get annoyed today. Um. They probably didn't object because it doesn't really fucking matter. Together, um, with, with respect, sir, that, that wasn't my question. My question was the oh. two of you shared an, an enjoyment questions. of controlled drugs and alcohol at that time. How can he speculate as to Paul Bettany's enjoyment? At times. And yeah, Miss Heard I don't think was it's quite going to adamant work. that you didn't drink anymore and that you should stop Hello. using recreational drugs, right? Oh, yes. This is a and very she didn't full like it when you were high today. on drugs or drunk on alcohol, right? She didn't like it when it was her perception that I was high on drugs. <laughs> her perception is quite different than the truth. And, and that's that's what we're after is the truth. Let's turn to, uh, can you pull up exhibit 178, please, Michelle? 
her perception is the, quite different than the truth. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I just want to make sure. Oh. Very full courtroom today. Mr. Depp. Um, Objection, Your Honor. Sorry. Can that, we approach that's a little question? late. Did she just, I wonder if she just got to the end of what he was saying. Um, here's the thing that annoys me when you try to impeach somebody when you've asked the wrong question. It comes across as disingenuous if, if, um, if the jury's paying attention. Because he said, did you ever do like Adderall or Xanax with him. And Johnny Depp said, not that I can remember. And then he's like, well, you said that if he asked you for those things, you'd give it to them. He goes, but how does that impeach him on, I don't remember us doing those things together, even if I would give that to him um, if he asked me for it. It's not the same thing. And I don't like that. Um, I don't like that, that at all. Uh, Julia, I would try refreshing the stream because I haven't seen any audio complaints, so I would just refresh the stream. And if I'm too hot, my mods will let me know if the mic's too hot, not if I'm too hot. I look old and tired. <laughs> so whatever they are arguing about, we will see how successful their arguments are. She is probably properly explaining to Amber Heard what is going on. If I was a client, that's exactly what I would want. I would want you telling me why they're going up there. What are they talking about? Um, that's what I'd want to know. So I think that, um, I can try, I can absolutely try to turn the court audio up a bit. I can turn mine down a bit, but it's going to annoy me throughout this trial. If he keeps trying to impeach, um, if he keeps trying to impeach with not the question he asked, it's not proper impeachment, but they're allowed to confront Johnny with statements that he previously made. It just seems dumb to me. And it seems a little bit like a waste of time. Do we care if he gave Paul Bettany Xanax and, um, and, you know, Adderall when we know that Amber Heard took Adderall from him and they scheduled time for dinner, dancing and drugs at their wedding, including MDMA. I just think it's a wash between all of them with the drug use. And again, they're going to try to characterize him as different than all of his close friends have known him much longer, have have already testified how he is. Mr. Depp, this, Mr. Rotten this is a text message exchange that you had with Paul Bettany. Warning. On Warning. June 11th, 2013. Sensitive correct? content. Yes. Correct. Your Honor, permission to uh, move for admission. Of yeah, they want to publish this shit to the jury. It's not good. Defendants Exhibit 178 and permission to publish, please. Publish means we get to see it. Based off of your honor's ruling. All right. That's fine. So the judge probably redacted redact. something. I agree with you. I feel the drugs are irrelevant because everybody was doing drugs. So who Michelle, cares? Could you please blow up the first text at the top? Let's burn Amber. In this text, Mr. Depp. You text Mr. Bettany, let's burn Amber, three excla exclamation points, right? You see that? I do see that. And at this time, June 11, 2013, Amber is your girlfriend or, or perhaps even your fiance at this point, correct? Uh, yeah. Girlfriend. I'm yes, just saying if and, these are the texts you about your girlfriend, when you don't said, get married. Burn Amber. Don't get married. If these because are the texts about the person the, you're the dating, text down, don't. Get and move down married. Blow up the next text, please, Michelle. Don't do it. You say, let's drown her before we burn her. Three exclamation points. Did I read that right? If this is how you feel about someone you're dating, red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. Yes, it's referring and, and, to the and text you didn't, prior to. You, you didn't stop and you said, let's drown her before we burn her. After that, you made another comment. And, and I'd like to apologize to the court and to the jury for some of the language that I'm going to have to use today but unfortunately oh um, you're excited to drop the fuck see bombs. A lot of documents with language like this you are excited After everyone loves said, getting to say let's it drown her it. before we burn her mr depp yeah. you said i will fuck her burnt corpse afterwards to make sure she is dead that's I, what you said i told you they you were bad we're gonna time stamp the bad text you burned her and after you drowned like her. at 18 minutes did i read that right so people can skip over it you certainly did yes and you wrote that about the woman who would later become your wife 
Yes, I did. Did do you Can not you see this is a red flag? Five, please. These texts are awful. Also, this is a huge red flag. If this is the way he's talking about her to his friends, you shouldn't get married. The lawyer's totally excited to read these texts. These texts are very bad for Johnny. Your Depp. Honor, there's been um, no objection to this exhibit, and so I've moved for its admission and asked for permission to publish to the jury. I'll give them a moment. To Why is the fuck word so sensitive? I don't know. People get so uptight about cursing and language. I think people are going to get more uptight in the later ones where uh, he drops the Honor, see you next uh, Tuesday word. No objection to the portions that have Mr. Depp's text messages, but at the bottom portion, there is some from his daughter that we third. would ask be redacted. Okay. Left and your that's honor, fair. It, that's okay. But the, there's no, there was no objection to this I on the but, exhibit list. But they don't appear to be relevant. Which that's fine. We're happy to redact those. Okay. Yeah, they don't appear to be relevant. <clears throat> yep, I told you the texts were bad. I warned. <laughs> They're getting them in to show a different side of Johnny Depp, and that's what they're going to have to do. Um, so, two forty-five in evidence with the redactions. Yep. Okay, yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you, mm -hmm. Mr. Depp. Um, this uh, the the top text message. We're going to focus on a couple of these, but the top text message is a text from you to Paul Bettany on May thirtieth. Well, that's impossible to read if you cut the end of it off. Could you Let scoot? Roll over, Michelle. Yeah, Michelle, scoot it over. Thanks, Michelle. May 30th, 2014, yes, sir. And, and you recall that um, you testified yesterday about the flight that you took from Boston to Los Angeles on May 24th, 2014, right? Yes. You remember that? Okay. Yes, I did. And you testified yesterday that you didn't have any drinks before that flight, or maybe you had a glass of champagne or something. Remember giving that testimony? Yes, I believe I said I had a, a, a glass of champagne on the, on the plane. And he did right. say that. So in this text, if you could blow up, Michelle, please, that top text. I'm going to properly stop the booze thing, darling. On May 30th, Drank 2014. Drank all night 14, before I got. You texted Mr. Bet Michelle. Just a little bit smaller. Yes. Before I picked Amber up to fly to LA. You That's texted Drank Mr. All night. I'm going to properly stop the booze thing, darling. Drank all night before I picked Amber up to fly to LA this past Sunday. That's ugly, mate. The day no of the flight? No food for days. Powders. Half a bottle of whiskey. A thousand Red Bull and vodkas. I feel like that's hyperbole. Pills, two bottles of champers on plane. And what do you get? An angry aggro engine in a fucking blackout. Screaming obscenities and insulting any fuck who got near. I'm done. I am admittedly too fucked in the head to spray my rage at the one I love. Read that again. I'm admittedly too fucked in the head. Um, why to read it again? To spray my rage at the one I love, for little reason as well. I'm too old to be that guy, but pills are fine. Did I read that right? Yes, you did. And when you said pills are fine. This was when you were just starting treatment with Dr. Kipper to try to get off of the pills that you testified about yesterday, right? This is when I was still on the uh, uh, roxycodone. It was before the um, detox on the island, yes. Right, and you testified that when you were in Boston filming Black Mass, where, which you flew from, from Boston to L.A., that you had just retained Dr. Kipper to help you try to combat that pill problem, right? Yes. That doesn't seem inconsistent with those texts, texts though, down, to me. Please, Michelle. Truly, it doesn't seem inconsistent with those texts that I'm going to kick this and he had just hired the doctor to do it. Doesn't seem inconsistent to and me. Does it seem inconsistent to you? That you sent on June 8, 2014, just scroll over to Patty Smith. You see that? Yes, I do. Okay. And in this text, I, I, I won't read all of it. Who's Patty Smith? But you say this My daughter, I'm going to just read the first paragraph. My darling Patty Lee, I miss you and worship you, and there is nothing wrong between us. Never, ever could that happen. I've just been so beyond busy with film here in Boston and then back to L.A. for kitties. When I was in NYC, I love they were brief visits. They said kitties like meow, meow, not kitties like Amber. children. 
I fucked up and drank and got shitty. <sighs> Was so disappointed in myself. Oh, are we going to get into alleged almost infidelity? Walked to your place at about 3.30 a.m. Hmm. the last time I was there, unable to stop he tears. Did I read that right? You did. Michelle, can you please take that down and let's pull up. I agree that it seems like he wanted to start detoxing. Okay, no, I said who is Patty Smith because they have not introduced this character in the trial. The, none of the attorneys have talked about who this individual is. They didn't ask Depp who it is. So we have external Mr. knowledge Depp, and we can guess, but the jury had can't Ms. really Heard guess. They need to be told. 18, 2014. So, yes. I see that. But Your he, Honor, needs, I would, he um, should have asked Johnny Depp and who is Patty Smith. And ask for permission to publish. All right, any objection? May I have a look at the... Um... Of course. Oh, you've yeah, got an objection. Real quick. Okay, sure. You've got an objection. He's like, can I look at it real quick? No, we're not there yet. We're to your attorneys getting to text. So uh, your attorneys get to look at it and make an objection. Depp is not in control, and that's got to be very hard for him. But he has to remember he is not in control. He's only in control of his um responses so yeah <laughs> chat i know the chat are talking about who is patty smith the the chat's got you but here's the thing if they're introducing people in the text it's just good practice to say and hey, mr depp who is so and so how do you know them and it would be this is my friend this is whatever but they're getting these texts in to show that he downplayed or i think they will argue that he downplayed the incident on the plane he's like oh i had one glass of champagne um when i got on the plane and there's these text messages where he's talking about being beyond fucked up and blacked out and belligerent and so which is it is it is it a downplay and the reason that they're doing that is because well if he's downplaying this incident is he downplaying the other incidents you could just scroll down as so Thanks, Michelle. So they're trying to get to him downplaying these incidents. And that's why um, that's why we're doing that's why they are bringing this up or that's why I think they are bringing this up. So um, anyway, you guys are saying no. Patty Lee Smith, the singer songwriter. See, this is why the lawyer should have asked because the jury doesn't get to guess. They just get left hanging with these questions. And if they get hanging with oh, these sorry, questions, Your Honor, we have no objection with the un in, to the unredacted version. Okay. This version Ooh, that okay. right now, correct? we love that. Yes, okay, that are unredacted, but again, excuse me, sorry, I just want to make clear I, I, we haven't seen the other pages, but this page we have oh, no objection. Is, is it the only page? Fair, I, I believe this is the only page to the document. As Your to Honor, this right? page, we have no objection, it's only one page. just one page. Okay, thank you. Yep, this is this is literally how the sausage gets made in court, um, and they're being very pleasant about it with each other, but. They're trying to get to the downplaying and, of events. Uh, Michelle, if you can blow up the large text at the top of the page. Thanks, Michelle. I wish I had a trial assistant when I was in trial. I had like an Elmo overhead projector and myself. <laughs> it would be so nice to be like, Michelle, can Mr. you Depp, make uh, it on work? On December 18th, 2014, you sent this text to Miss Heard. Um, and I'm going to read it. And it says, it's a way... I've let it go, went too far. We slash I tend to do that. I always regret it when I jump or worse, when you jump. I don't want to be conditioned to continue that behavior. Therefore, I'll put in heavy work with shrank. I'm sorry for being shrank less, for your disappointment in me. I like it for my behavior. I'm a fucking savage. Gotta lose that. Gonna lose that. The devil is all around. I hope right? they at least ask him what he meant. I by wish these I things. were able to bring even just a glimmer of a smile to the pretty face of my most gorgeous of dreams and darkest nightmares. I love you far too much for you and I to be these heinous slinging insults like we do slash did. It is not anything that I am particularly proud of to have participated in, and I regret giving it life because, motherfucker, how when we fight, little girl? How do we end up on the very edge of the precipice and why wish I knew God damn and know that you are right. 
I am well aware that I should have been bigger than the moment and that it will never again manifest in negative experiences. It can be done. What a killer concept to visualize. Wish you were in this lunatic's proximity. Be careful out there. I adore you. I again... Did I read that right? Think you did that we have seen the way Johnny Depp speaks enough now with two days of testimony to see that he speaks with a lot of hyperbole, a lot of flowery, flowery language. So for me, when he's saying I'm a savage, I'm not, I'm a savage. Anyway, I'm not taking away that he means these things. Literally. I'm not, um, I'm not taking it that he means that he's unhinged. I'm taking it as he's saying these things in a more hyperbolic way. So how do you guys take it? Do you take it as he's literally seeing himself this way or that this is a larger, um, a, a larger kind of grander vision of how he sees things? Your Honor, also, we have a redacted version of this, but we'll put up the fully he, unredacted um right now he um of course he very much is your honor this has phone numbers in it so i, I know yeah, yeah i know we understand Whoa, don't so cut off her okay. rotten born let her finish her sentence this has phone numbers in it right so you can't publish it to the jury right so it should have been redacted if you were going to use it but i don't think the texts you don't take pictures of what's on your screen oh, no. okay i'm just making sure I don't think the judge was being very kind and asking the pool photographer to make sure that no Mr. photos Depp, were being um, taken I, of what's on I'd the like screens to, to because to those aren't being admitted and he does have his camera up. You can see his lens. These are text messages. Here. These are probably not going to get published till they're redacted. 17th, 2013. So see that? I'm going to talk when they take another inevitable they, break about these in a minute. Right. And it, the way these text messages are produced, sometimes there's big date skips and they're they're kind of jumbled in. So they're not all on the same chain. No, so what I'm what I'm asking you about is just the top three. Certainly. A lot of us are like, oh, you know, I'm so this, I'm so that. I just he's and talking about himself in third those person. Those are texts that you wrote on January 17th, 2013, correct? Yes, sir. Your Honor, permission to publish just those top three texts with identifiers and the others redacted. And and, and move for admission of that redacted exhibit. Um, as long as it's not this version, that's fine. The version we'll, we'll put it, we'll we put up on the screen. What I but I think after seeing Depp testify for so long, okay. we, after we see Depp testify for so long, I think it took some of the sting and shock out of these text messages because we've seen that he crafts everything he does in kind of a poetic way that he, he tries to, and he did this on the stand and I'm, if I say disassociating, I don't mean it in like a psychological diagnostic way, but he seemed to take himself out of the situation and observe no himself in like the third person <laughs> and, and talk about it in that way as one does this and that. And I think we're seeing that in these texts and he's talking about himself in these terms Michelle, that are much more hyperbolic. Boxes, please. Um, uh, now we get to the see you next Tuesday. On January 17th, 2013, Mr. Depp. You texted the following for the idiot cow. Three exclamation points. He's lived in Europe next a long text. time. Will do. Ooh, is he going to drop? See you I'll next Tuesday. Smack the ugly cunt around yep. before I let her in. Don't Le worry. Leaned right into it. Apologies again to the court and the jury for this language. So and then you close by saying, did that worthless hooker arrive? Did I read that right? You did, sir. You can take that down, please. They're not asking him to explain these because it's cross. We're going to have to do this we again on redirect. a little bit about the term monster yesterday, correct? This is not my fault. Yes, I've heard that word quite a lot. Yes. Yeah, and you, you testified yesterday that you used that term to placate Amber, right? And I believe that you testified that it was the worst. I'm going to see if I can get that. I wrote down what you said. You remember giving that testimony? Uh, the monster. At least we've got audio. More than anything was uh, Ms. Hurd's way of referencing. Um, I'm looking for another feed. Don't was, worry. Whether she perceived that I was on substances 
or taking substances. So the word monster became, there we go. It, it represented for her uh, the consumption of, of uh, alcohol or. He's speculating as to what it meant to her, but I guess it's his um, understanding of what it, it meant to was her. actually happening or not, her perception. And so monster became her click word, right. if you will. But but and actually, the term are like, monster we know what cow is. describe yourself came from you. I know, Lynn. Well, initially, Look, Ms. Heard, uh, I believe Puritanical she out with history here in the U.S. Uh, she started out with a call, uh, saying that I had demons. And then when monster was put into uh, a conversation, which, again, uh, my, my, I have a... Uh, and I will get to super chat at the morning break. Way of using uh, words, vocabulary uh, in my uh, in, in my vernacular. So there we monster, go to vernacular. Uh, was something that if it which she stuck with, tried and true. I mean, she just stayed with that. Right, but, um, but you but, have but to you, accept it. Came it from you. Unless you wanted you. to argue, he's the term came from you, didn't it? Oh, he said cunt in court with probable, his whole chest. Possible, yep. probable that I that I might have used that 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 word certainly. Right, and and, and in 2012, I'll tell a fact, story later um, when I got Elton to say John suck your dick in court. A whole bunch friends who was trying to help. I might have enjoyed sober, that. Correct? Yes, sir. And you 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 <laughs> sent him a message in 2012 where you thanked him for his help. It is very and fear said, and loathing. Quote, I would have been swallowed up by the monster were it not for you. That is a simple fact. Isn't yes. that true? Yes. Again, the monster referring to alcohol and, and substances. Correct. And, and you didn't send that message to Miss Heard. You sent that to Elton John. I would have been Wait. swallowed up by the monster were it not for you. Show me the Elton John um, text. Correct. I want all Elton, of them. Elton, uh, can you pull up? Piece of it? Was it Wait. Yes. Your friend who... Um, Let's talk about Elton John. Has been uh, s s sober for John. I don't forty years, thirty years. So he was. Um, we've had discussions, and he wanted to me to get uh, clean, sober. Um, so he actually Elton actually sent. Uh, a, a, a fellow called Charlie Dunnett, who, who worked with Elton for I'm years, living years. for this story. Mr. Depp, I, I, I appreciate that. My only Stop question it. was just to confirm that you had sent that message to Elton John, nothing else. Thank you. So I'll just, okay, I'll yeah. just stop. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I, I appreciate it. I want to be Certainly respectful of the court's problem, time and the, and the jury's time. Um, Sorry? I just said I want to be respectful of the court's time and the jury's <laughs> time, and I, I trust that you do too. So. No, uh, well, I don't feel you, like I'm wasting anyone's time, sir. Could you pull up these a bit? Forward, yeah, I don't feel please. that he's wasting anyone's time here either. This is what we're here for. Mr. Depp, I, I'd like to, to turn your attention to the bottom text on this page. Um, and can you confirm that this is a text message that you sent on April 9th? 2015, while you were married to Amber, to your sister. Do you see that? Uh, the, the, the last... Uh, the last text on, on, on the, the one on the bottom. Yes, yes I, I see that, yes. Um, your Honor, I move for admission of 408 with all the identifiers redacted and everything except the last text redacted. Just the last one? Yes, Your Honor. One text. Um, we object, Your Honor. We, uh, if we could approach just That's very fine. quickly. Yeah, we all wanted to hear about Elton John. I agree. When Johnny Depp said, I don't think I'm wasting anyone's time. Um, I wanted, I wanted to hear more of that story. I don't think we'll get it on redirect, but we're going to have a lot more breaks today as they go ahead and do this. So... We there's going to be a lot of back and forth about these exhibits. I wanted to hear more about the Elton John story. I know y'all did too. I wanted to hear more about um, what's in those text messages. We might see it. We might not. But it's going to be very interesting 
um, to see how this continues to go. Depp still wants to be heard and wants to tell his story. Rottenbaum, it, Rottenbaum, Rottenborn is doing his job. On cross, you tend to ask for yes, no answers. You try to keep um, all of that stuff succinct. So it's not inappropriate legally for him to cut off Johnny Depp and and try to get to the point of the answer. But it would generally be a, you know, sir, that's not what I asked. The question is this or thank you, sir, but it's this. But they're not going to just let him speak on um, on cross. And if this goes like this through lunch, we're going to go well into Monday with Johnny Depp still on the stand. So y'all look, I have a flight on Tuesday. I need and, this and to be Mr. Depp. Um, <laughs> Emily has scheduled issues. sis in those texts. Is that, is that your sister? Um, or c- c- it could be Amber's sister too, right? Oh, we don't know what uh, sis means. Sis, I, I was referring to Whitney. Whitney. Heard. Okay. So Amber's sister. Okay. Yes. Amber's okay. sister. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't think Rotten Bourne can leave the sass at home. I think I th- it, it can feel personal for the attorney if somebody's like coming at you from the stand, depending on the individual and their temperament. And I wonder if Rotten Bourne was the attorney that did the deposition of Johnny Depp. Like how much interaction have um have they been talking about? Oh, Nick Witt, not CIS, 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 SIS, CIS sister. Redactions, I'd ask for permission or move to admit exhibit 408. No no objection. Yes. All right, 408 with redactions. I don't think so. This isn't, this keeps the jury awake. It definitely keeps everybody on their toes. It's a very interesting um, exchange. On April 9th, 2015. Yes. While you were married to Miss Heard, you texted someone named CIS, which may be her sister. You testified. Yes. You said, this I'm all Chris. right. This says, I dot, 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 though I never, ever want to lay eyes on that filthy whore, Amber A, most embarrassing. Amber. Did I read that right? Yes, you did. And, and when you called Amber that filthy whore, she was your wife at the time, correct? Yes, sir. Let's pull up exhibit four, 427. I mean, I think that, again, these things aren't as impactful after everything we heard about the fights they went through yesterday and after we heard about the detoxing, because I think there's probably plenty on the jury that are looking at the detox and what he went through with the detox. And he's texting someone, you know, that filthy whore. And I think the jury is either thinking it's hyperbolic um, or that he's angry. But again, you're allowed to to be angry. I don't know. I think the sting is out of the text from everything we've heard before. Okay. Is there another? Let's see. I'd like to direct your attention to the fourth text Ah, from the bottom. Fair. Chat number (laughs) one six one. This is what happens when I just jump into parts of the chat. You see that? They're going to try to argue emotional Um, abuse, but none of these texts are to Amber. Text message exchange between you and Jerry Judge. On April 26th, I think it's brilliant. Just a couple of weeks. Going to be an attorney that you're rotten you born. To, to Amber, like the filthy whore. You see that? I agree with yes, you. I, okay. I see. Permission to, to um, and move for admission of this Look, exhibit with the. He um, talked about burning her before they were changes. even engaged. Um, if you're that enraged by somebody, maybe don't Judge. marry them. Well, why don't you show me what would look like redacted? Yeah. Um, why don't you okay. show me first? Oh my God, this is okay, going sure. to take so long. Um. Yeah, it shouldn't get under Johnny Depp's skin. He knew this was coming. This has come in in depositions. This has come in in the UK. This is coming in. The impact it will have is different because, again, we've seen how Johnny Depp talks for two days now. I think it's actually better that cross-examinations today than after the weekend break because we've seen how he talks. We've seen that he can be very verbose and hyperbolic. He called his severed finger Mount Vesuvius. We've seen all of this. So it's not as shocking. I mean, some of the language might be shocking to people who haven't seen it before, but no objection. With redactions, okay. It's not as shocking as Thank you, you would think. Text, 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 text. up, Michelle. Thanks, Michelle. Mr. Depp, on April 26, 2015, Jerry Judge, and Jerry Judge is your former security guy who, who 
passed away a couple of years ago, right? That's okay. correct. Um, and he writes you and says, hi boss, just wanted to say if you and Amber need anything, just let me know. I will be there in 20 minutes. Johnny, it is lovely to see how you and Amber are so happy. The other day watching the two of you sitting on the bench by the sea was fantastic. The two of you need happiness and it is really great to see that. Love to you and Amber, XOXO. Oh, it's like, Jerry. I read that right. When there's a cycle that sometimes and it's good that, and sometimes it's bad and, and sometimes said, it's good and sometimes you, it's bad. Dear, it's like it's this whole very, very, very dramatic time, right? cycle. We've been perfect. All I had to do was send the monster away and lock him up. That's the point. We've been happier than ever. All caps. Love you, brother. JD. Absolutely, Anna. Mich right? Michelle's coming in clutch. Michelle, could you please pull up exhibit 445, defendants? And he might have married her to stop her complaining at him. But this is part of that cycle that, that we're going to hear an expert talk about. When you were, I'm not surprised. The word by all of that this. misheard wasn't on that text message, was she? No, that was between Jerry and myself. Thank you. My chair is pissing me off today. Sorry, y'all. Mr. Depp, I'd like to direct your attention in this message to the second text down, yes. which is a text from you to Dr. Kipper, Dr. David Kipper, on June 28, 2015. Okay. Is that right? Um, I oh, no, she's got glasses. Look at this. She's got glasses. Your Honor, um, I move for the admission of a redacted exhibit with that, simply that text. We're happy to redact the rest of Rebecca, it. Rebecca, this is a very fair point. If someone put a cigarette out on your cheek right and right severed your finger to the point where you got MRSA, you might also I have no colorful words. Are proper redactions. Get those redactions before we publish, or did you want to publish this? Um, we, we'll just, we'll make the redactions right now and then. Okay. Um, Published. Yeah. Them. Okay. Thank you. We will be seeing experts talking about this. They have to. I hope the expert is asked about a victim of domestic violence that. gifting their yes, supposed okay. abuser a very large knife. Um, it's very interesting. This is the first time I've seen her wearing glasses. And you sent too, this text, and they're June clear frames like his. And it said, "Can you blow up the text, Michelle, please?" Wait, Michelle, don't blow it up. I'm screenshotting. God damn it! Killed my screenshot. Uh oh. What happened? Sorry, that's me. Thank you, my darling Kipper. All those technical abbreviations left me flummoxed and in the. He dark. calls a lot of people my darling. Soon, soon, I must see you and just hang out. My deformed finger and I have no friends. Well, by the way, Amber and I have been absolutely perfect did for Amber three fucking get months rid solid. Of his friends, because I've hated locked them. my monster child away in a cage deep oh, within, George. and it has fucking worked. We're goddamn best friends now. Amazing. Big love big love to you, my brother, JD. I mean, isn't Did that what that you right? want? He said he kept you, working and he didn't and want the relationship to fail. This all kind of feeds into told that. Dr. Kipper that you'd locked your monster child away in a cage deep within, was she? Uh, no. Can we pull up? Um, Is he trying to get to the point please, that the he didn't just refer to the monster with Amber, even though he's saying this is how she characterized it. So this is how I kept characterizing it. But I mean that I have no friends doesn't surprise me. We heard how many of her kind of squad was living at the, the penthouse with him. And I'm going to direct your attention to and that. Mr. She didn't Death. like this hanging out with his born old friends to Steven Duders on May 14th, 2015, right? The last one not yep. on my desk. May 14th. And Stephen Duders is your personal assistant, or was your personal assistant at the time you were with Mr. Oh, Herbert. I'm not giving him a pass, Francois. I'm not giving him a pass at all. Now I the, don't the, think the it's president of the it's European. Uh, okay, I think it's a reason that the jury is not going to see these texts as shocking. We've seen the way he speaks. Uh, move for admission of uh, a so redacted version. So I of this don't document think with just uh, the bottom text, Your Honor. I don't think the jury is going to see these as shocking. They may. But again, I think his team letting him go on and on and on yesterday and the day before takes the sting out of these text messages. I don't think they're good text messages. But again, I'm looking at this from what's being admitted, how it's going to be read by a jury. 
and how it impacts this case. So that's all. And on May 14th, 2015, you blow up that text. Michelle, please. You texted Mr. Duders, need to discuss the news helicopters yes. hovering outside the house this morning. I'm ready to shoot a motherfucker, but don't worry. The monster is not involved. Correct? That's so she lived, yes. And Miss Heard wasn't on that text, was she? No. They're trying to build up, up to, to so you didn't just please. refer to the monster with Miss Heard, but I don't know if it's going to matter. Like, I just don't know if it's going to matter. So. You guys let me know what you think. This on page two, please. It's interesting that today she has on a three-piece suit. Are we on page two? After the softer looks yesterday. Oh, my God. My cats are just... Yeah. So it's Mr. Depp. I'd like to direct your attention to um, line 24. You can see in that left hand column there. And this is a text message from you to Stephen Duders, your, your personal assistant at the time on October 31st. Oh, it feels very long. Correct. I also think um, when he refers to the monster, he's talking about addiction, but he's got to explain that in his words in a way the jury can understand. Just that text. He might be referring to that side of himself. Uh, phone number is redacted. We have no objection. We could do those redactions. So just be page two of exhibit so. 96. Yes, Your Honor. Are you ever going to enter any other pages of this exhibit into evidence? I'd like to reserve the right to do that. Then we'll call this 196A. Okay, thank you. It or not? Easier for the record. I don't know yet, thank Your you. Honor. We'll see what happens. That's fair. It's interesting. The clear glasses, the three-piece suit. Permission to publish, Your Honor. All right. Well, I'm not a conspiracy nine theorist, nine. y'all. Only sometimes in my spare time. No, I'm, I'm and really in this not. this text message from But you it's very interesting how Duders much she is mimicking his On dress. October 31st, 2013, you write, thanks. She thinks that my Peruvian period has made me a monster and that I'm ruining the relationship. Well, you I think that? that's fair yes, I do, sir. the peruvian period is a reference to cocaine is it not yes it is that's Sorry, you said yes it is an interesting way to, yes, re it is. to refer to let's go yes. to exhibit 293 please i anyone 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 has anyone heard peruvian period mean cocaine like what is happening Johnny did wear a three-piece suit yesterday. He started Mr. wearing three-piece like suits this week, I think. I'd like to direct your attention to the bottom uh, text, which is a text from you to an unknown number. Yeah, the glasses are an interesting October choice for me. October 4th, 2014. Do you see that? The last one. I mean, it yes. does seem a little yes. mocking. Yes, sir. The outfits. I was trying to pull that Your question Honor, up, I and it, move, it uh, jumped. To the admission of modified Exhibit 293 with um, just Because they want to show that uh, he is a monster. That's version. why. Um, and we, we may use other parts of it, so I'd, I'd ask it to be 293A or 1. Okay. I agree. Okay. I don't okay. think these things have the punch that they're expecting them to have. What you'd said. No objection. All right. 293A, we'll get the redactions done. But the how she's dressing has really caught my attention in the last few days. It's been the glasses, the clear-rimmed glasses to me are very, very oh, interesting. This is an excellent point, Melissa. She said they're using monsters so much that it's diluting. Um, yeah. Thank you, Your Honor. I might need a separate and cat cam. I'm gonna. Text I'll take some videos and post them on 4th, on Instagram. You text someone. My, it's unclear my Kleenex who. Kleenex box is in the uh, way. You right say now. I'm going to quite gracefully glide into a massage of my broken back and neck. I shall exit in one hour. A monster. Shall we each swallow? And E each, parentheses, or perhaps it's MDMA, at around 8 p.m. And go to dinner with a few of my wee team at a wonderful Peruvian spot. I'm confused. Does Let that mean this Peruvian night, food? Brother. Let us reward ourselves for the hard work and misery of the heat that we push ourselves to conquer every goddamn day. The shatter. 
and did I read that right? You did. You did. And and E here, that's a reference to ecstasy, correct? It is. You can take that down, Michelle. Uh, and you would agree that you found drugs and alcohol at an early stage in your life, right? Oh, we've have we moved on? Oh, certainly, yes, I did. And, and you testified uh, a couple of days ago that you had done just about every kind of drug there was by age. 13 or 14, right? 15. 15. And you've um, you found that drugs are the only way to numb your pain, right? They've always been um, a medicine for me, yes, a numbing agent. And you said yesterday that, in fact, I, I think you said you take drugs to numb the demons, right? I don't know that I said to numb the demons, but I, I well, if I did say demons, it's, it is to numb. He said my brain at one point. Residual um, pain that I carry from my uh, youth. Right. And um, one, of, one of your good friends that you've taken drugs with before is Marilyn Manson, right? Um, they just want to name drop. Yes, we've taken, uh, 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 we've drank together. Uh, we've. We've uh, we, we've had cocaine together maybe a couple of times. Um, pills, right? With Marilyn Manson. Um, I once gave uh, Marilyn Manson a pill uh, so that he would s stop talking so much. <laughs> 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 Sorry. All right. Um, I get it. You <laughs> they employ, want you to stop talking. Of course he gets it. A, a lot of people that work for you, right? I employ a lot of people. That you employ a lot me. of people that serve various roles in your life, right? Yes, there's, they're, they're, yes. And, and, and at least some of those people will do anything you ask, including some of them supplying controlled drugs to you, correct? I would not characterize those people as doing anything I want or anything I said. They're not the yes men that you'd like them to be. Oh. Snappy. They're not the yes men that you would like them to be. A long pause to the next question. Can you turn, uh, pick up your, uh, your testimony from the UK trial and turn to page uh, just 48, drop that. which is page 13 of the document, please. He yes. could have pressed it and asked, have they ever brought you drugs? I'm sure some of them have. Um, but he's trying to get to the point that they would testify kind of however. And I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yes, I've got it. You got it? Okay. Yes, sir. And if you could please take a look at um, page 48, line 15. I mean, is anyone 15. questioning, does Johnny Depp do drugs? Does anyone even care? He just that they're not yes men, right? No, he said they're not the yes men you'd like them to be. No, that's not what he said. Ooh, that annoys me. Okay. On page 48, line 15 um, uh, of your testimony in the UK, you were asked the question, they are people who will do what you ask. They will do anything you ask, including some of them supplying drugs to you, controlled drugs to you. Your answer was, there are people who work for me, work with me, who, yes, in the past, have been asked to provide whatever I have felt was necessary at the time. That's not the gotcha you think it question. is, though. Well, putting it bluntly, if you wanted illegal drugs, controlled drugs, and you asked one of your staff, and I'm not going to name anybody particularly. He's jumping right now. to get to the that impeachment, but it's would not. provide you with those drugs if he could. It's not really working Answer, that way. At times, yes. Hello, Emily. Question. We'll talk about hearsay. Despite the, the fact break. that it was illegal. For sure. Answer, yes. Yep, the lawyer's totally putting right? words in his mouth. He He's trying to pull up the other testimony to get the answer that he wants, but I don't know if it's going to work uh, because we are sitting here going. Well, but that's not exactly what he said. So what's it matter? Like, none of us know what the point of this is yet. And that's hard. Ugh. 
Shouldn't they be using Marilyn Manson's legal name? No, they want the jury to think of Marilyn Manson and all the news about him lately. They want the jury to associate Johnny Depp with hanging out with Marilyn Manson, who has horrific allegations against him Uh, of um, Um, violence and sexual violence. This is a picture that was taken in uh, Miss Hurd's um, former house or apartment on Orange Avenue after you two began dating, correct? Yes, sir, and it's, uh, it's quite a composition. It, composition of the photograph is we all learned from love actually that if I you become a rock star you just get the drugs um, for free i'm imagining it's the same when you're a celebrity exhibit 1085 and ask for permission no objection your honor. and he was asked by amber heard to bring drugs i don't remember what year it was whether the weed was legal in california at that point or not this picture um you recall mr depp was taken in in or around march of 2013 what city is this keith richards off the wagon right is this um, property of JD? Somebody's driver's it, license. March of 2013, I believe, March right? March 2013. Does that ring a bell? Is that the Los um, Angeles Times? Which newspaper is that? March 23rd. Um, it feels. Look at I this photograph. Fallen off the wagon from when we were when I was doing Lone Ranger. When I Harris didn't know that Marilyn Manson was, was now his sober. legal name. Okay. Um, there we but go. that was those the whiskey. Um, they're not they talked about weed yesterday the table was that was an average every day i would come home to her place and there would be a glass of whiskey waiting for me yeah. and, Delicious. and you would sometimes drink whiskey in the mornings too right during this time period um i i i, I you know i mean isn't happy hour anytime <laughs> <laughs> and that cocaine, that those white lines, oh, those are coca- that's cocaine, right? I don't know. I would, I would assume, assume so. Yeah, and that's you. that's your cocaine that you kept in that box that says. Isn't, what did he say? Isn't happy hour? Crossbones, isn't it? Well, the Anytime? composition of the photograph would suggest that certainly. Yeah, you don't dispute that. He said uh, it suggests that. Me that. No, but you don't dispute that that you carried cocaine in that box that said property of JD. That was a special box that you carried cocaine in, wasn't it? The box was a gift from someone. I can't say that I carried cocaine in it, no. You you, you can't it, say that you carried cocaine in that box? No, but it looks like it would fit some cocaine. I, I, I... <laughs> There's an audience full of Depp fans today. Cocaine is, I would, in my experience, normally... Uh, given in plastic bags when you put it in a box like that it's gonna spill uh, all over the place chances are very good you'll leave a trail of a a long line of cocaine behind you walking down the street why don't you go ahead and pull up your uk testimony please (laughs) let's look at page 202 i mean he's got to know this is coming if you said anything that contradicted it's coming thank you lola marie lee marie um, when he was asked by Amber Depp to bring wine and weed, I just don't know if it was legal then either. It's like, oh, people are giving you drugs. Okay. Once. <sighs> no, this, we've all, we all have forgotten what the point is at this point. I don't know if that was a tampon snort straw. I don't know. It looked like it. It had that like blue plastic kind of oh, end. That, no, I, that's my fault. It's day two, so I owe you another transcript. I'm sorry. My apologies. Oh, well, you know. It's nice to admit when we're wrong. We're moving into another day now. Great. Your Honor, permission to approach? Okay. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I'm going to post, I took a screenshot of that photo with the cocaine. I'll post it up on Twitter. It's Thank Whitney's you. tampon applicator and Amber's ID. Her signature is on there. I, okay. So they, I mean, again. So this, and I apologize See, Anna's that, proving the point. Um, it is happy this hour somewhere. It is uh, page nine of the document. Uh, page They care very much about the drugs. This was day two of your testimony. Cajuns say it's five o'clock somewhere. It's it, clearly it's five o'clock somewhere right now. Um, in fact, it's uh, five yes, o'clock yes, in yes, Sweden. Page two hundred two. Yep. And uh, on that, uh, on page two hundred two. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, See, it's five o'clock in South Africa. It is five o'clock. We'll have to work 
out what that was at a later stage. Can you see in the front that there is a little box about two inches by two inches? He is hyper focused on the cards? cocaine. Answer yes. Does Rottenborn know JD that we all just don't give a shit? Crossbones on it. Like it's yes, I do. <sighs> that I suggest is this is the question that I suggest 4 p.m. in Scotland, cocaine box. 5 p.m. in that Germany. That is where you would keep your cocaine, a special box that you had. Answer I do remember the box. Question, do you remember it now? Answer, yes. I did not remember the property of JD. Yes, that is a box. It was carrying cocaine in it. I would say I probably was then. That's that? a probably. That's that right? like I could yes. maybe. That's not impeachment. It's like, oh, maybe. It's pos like it's possible, but they normally give it to you in bags. It would have been in a bag in the box, which is splitting hairs. But this is this back and forth is. Um, and on the morning that this boring. picture was taken, I don't know what their point is. Were, this was during the filming of a documentary about Keith Richards. You remember that? That does very much uh, look like a tampon applicator. I don't know what that is. What's what? what the, I'm sorry. Uh, that looks like an older yeah, iPhone, sure. like an this iPhone. This picture was taken while you four, were filming a five? documentary about Keith Richards. Four? Correct. Uh, I'm sorry. The date again on this. Do you remember that? Oh, we are obsessed believe, with the box. I believe it was March 2013. Obsessed with the box. You, could, you that should seems, know better yes, than I that do. Seems about. Okay. He you said possibly. Keith Richards CD it looks like above that cosmetic case. Perfectly placed, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you had an argument that morning in which... How do we know this is a cosmetic case? This looks like a that? drop a dop um, case I or a bathroom Amber case. I had an argument with me. And month. you were using cocaine and drinking whiskey that morning. And as a result of that argument, you were late to the set of that documentary, correct? Y'all, I love the international um, In fact, crew. I was not late to the documentary. Uh, well, I was late, but um, I had called uh, my crew because it was a day of uh, filming performance with, between, it was Keith Richards, Tom Waits, and some other very uh, talented musicians. Yeah, I want to hear about uh, you recording with... Keith Richards the and Tom Waits. The only thing that needed to be done in terms of performance was capture the performance. So uh, my, I, I wasn't needed on the set. Okay. So I could come in anytime I wanted. Okay. You, you just said that you were late though, correct? Oh, so I was just late, yes. About you. Okay. yes, yes. All right. And and due to the argument, of course. Sure. Yes. Um, I'd like I to, so to shift gears a little bit uh, now. Hmm. Well, actually, let's let's not. Um, what is the point? The picture does seem really staged. Michelle, could you please pull up Exhibit One Fifty Two? Did I pull up the comment that said, "Who doesn't? Isn't it mandatory to do coke with Keith Richards?" That made me laugh. I don't know if they have a point. I think their point was lost an hour ago. Um, I think they're trying to show that Depp is, um, and I will look at this. I think Mr. we're Depp, trying these are, are various, to prove that um, Depp is maybe not texts that you sent and received what he's saying he is, people, that he's um, done more drugs than he said. 2012. Do you see that? I don't know about uh, that. Yes. It seems to go from July to September. Right, right. I'll refresh this and, real quick. Um, Oop, we'll we'll take them do. kind of piece by piece, piece by piece, I, I guess. Um, I guess the first thing I'd like to do um, is take a look at uh, exhibits, or I'm sorry, the entries. Anastasia, one, I agree, six, it has no relevance eight. to abuse. So it also doesn't have much relevance to the defamation. The page, it's a text exchange, a text from you uh, to Stephen Duders, your personal assistant at the time. Kit Kat, I don't and know why we care about the Coke in the box. Back to you. Objection, Your Honor. I don't know why we care. What are the grounds for the objection? I would like, oh, she asked to approach. I didn't hear that part. <sighs> well, the thing that's hard is when you can't see the path that they're laying, it makes it very tedious. This feels very tedious um, to me. This, this feels wandering this feels like what is the point who cares about the jd box i i, I just don't know what the point is <clears throat> but with that um 
we're going to have to see what they get to. They will probably not tie this up until we get into their closing arguments. I think that they want to, um, I think that they want to make the point that Depp was downplaying. That's what I think they're trying to get to. And they're trying to say he's inconsistent, but I haven't found him to be inconsistent. And if I do find him to be inconsistent, I will tell you there, I'm sure there will be moments where he's inconsistent, but he's like, I don't recall keeping cocaine in a box. You normally have it in a bag. And he's like, but didn't you say here? And what he said there was, it's possible. So it just, these aren't these moments of like, aha, you admitted something. And so what is the point? He, we know he uses drugs. He covered his drug use and his drug addiction and his um, detoxing. He covered all of that um, very thoroughly on direct. So why does it matter? Um, I, I think I, I think they're trying to say or have a room to argue. He didn't tell you the whole story. I think that's the point. But I don't know if if the jury's going to feel like there's these moments where he wasn't forthcoming because again, his answers are kind of vague. So it's hard to pin him down on not being um, forthcoming. He did say that the CD was perfectly placed. That's exactly what he said. Um, I, I don't know. They are really banging on about the drug use, but again, I don't know if that always cuts the best way for them either. Cause with the banging on about the drug use, he's going to, he can still argue that the drug use is the monster, that he's not a monster, but they really want to continue to characterize him as a monster because that's, that's what their whole argument is. But these two snarking and laughing um, might also annoy the jury. So we'll see. I mean, we'll see, but uh, (laughs) Uh, the nuance take said, if I were smart, I would stand outside the courthouse with, quote, gift boxes for sale. No substances inside the box. Of course, you get a box. You get a box. Everyone gets a box. I think I think people want JD boxes. And with the with the little screenshots I'm taking, she seems awfully relaxed with the little screenshots I'm taking. I'm going to be sharing those on Twitter. I've got a thread going for today. So if you want to follow me there, it's at the Emily D. Baker. Um, Go ahead and do the likey subscribey things with that. Um, I agree with that's that. fine, Your Honor. Thank 152 you. with redactions and evidence. Thank you, Your Honor. Appreciate your patience. Mm-hmm. Mr. Depp, um, we're going to take a look at two, two text messages here. Thank the, us for or Three text messages. Um, on August 4th, 2012, you exchanged text messages with Stephen Duders, one from you to him and one from him to you. Do you see that midway through the page? Yes. And, Shell, can you blow those up, please? <clears throat> In those text messages, you write to Mr. Duders, your personal assistant. Yay, where is the little baggie? Wait, Duders is his personal assistant? And he says, special baggie, I gave you can it's on my Amazon shop. kitchen. Not sure where it went after that. Thought I heard you say something along the lines of, I know what to do with it, exclamation point. Did I read that right? What? You did, sir. All right. Can you scroll down to the, the text on the bottom, please? This is a text, um, Mr. Depp, uh, where you say, I use marijuana a lot, three exclamation points. I take pot. Okay. I read that right, correct? Yes, you did. And, and this is a text that you sent on September 11th, 2012. To just scroll over to the this left. This comment is running for me. You this open the box. This is a text that you sent to Brian box. Warner. Start your coke. Um, Brian Warner's Marilyn Manson, right? Step one. Okay. Um, let's pull up exhibit 145. You open please. the box. Step two. <laughs> I will try to put some of these screenshots on Instagram as well. It's just fastest to do them um, on on Twitter. So yes, if you guys are having sound issues, just go ahead and refresh because I'm getting mixed feedback with audio. Um, But when the courtroom audio cuts, it's when the attorneys go up, they do cut the courtroom audio, but that's because they're, they're doing that. Um, Amber yesterday was wearing her Apple watch with the face of the watch on the inside of her wrist. Um, that might just be so, I don't know why. So she can, yesterday the chat was wondering uh, if she could look at it without looking messages. like she's um, looking at her watch. Her attorney also has an Apple watch. The judge also has right? an Apple watch. 
I don't think they're sharing their competition together, yes, too, though. And Your Honor, the, the uh, text messages that I'd like to uh, ask the witness about are the first two. Oh, there's an issue with some of them. Then. Um, and then the... Um, okay. Did you stop? Are you buffering? What's happening? We have no objection to the admission with proper redactions. Okay, you could redact just those first two. It might be. It might be so she can and look at her text without looking like she's peeking at her phone so she can just look at it on the inside. Clutches pearls. Not the Mary Joanna. No one cares. Like Literally no one cares. There's not a lot of flow to this cross-examination today. I thought yesterday's flow was better. Get in, get out. But no, we're going to wander through all these text messages. I had forgotten about the text messages. <sighs> Did he, I wonder if he paused to go look in the box. This is, this is just wandering. Are there objections? Like what is happening? And he thought Johnny Depp was wasting the court's time talking about, um, Elton John. No, they were Thank going you, over the redacted evidence and making sure Johnny Depp's team didn't have any objections, which is so fair. But the flow this text is exchange, Mr. Rough. Depp, between you and Marilyn Manson on uh, September 11th, 2012. He texted Marilyn Manson. You text him, the pill and the plant stuff keep me calm and detached. And he texts you back. That's what he testified I have lots yesterday. Of reefers, many reefers. Okay. Oh, at least he's got his real name. Which are weird, but pot is funny backwards gateway drug. Do you see that? I do, sir. Did I read that right? And <clears throat> what is the point that, down, Michelle, that he please. texted Marilyn Manson about weed? What is the point? And if you could please pull up. Newsflash. Johnny Depp and that Marilyn Manson 10, think 8, that edibles sorry, are one, weird. 1089. <laughs> 1089. His attorneys aren't objecting because the jury's probably like, we don't care anymore. <sighs> yeah, objection relevance for me too. It's just, uh, who cares? Mr. Depp, I'd, I'd like to ask you about this photo. Um, this is a photo of four. It was always difficult for me. Of marijuana, correct? But I was normally yes, the one asking the questions. A lot of marijuana. It's a lot of marijuana. And the coffee cup Great. that's right next to that, that's. That's a coffee cup for your your company. Oh, pictures, Nile, right? That's correct. Pictures. And the, the furniture. This is taken in one of your residences. Uh, it's taken in the studio, the recording studio. In the recording studio. Okay. <gasps> um, you guys, musicians, use your honor, drugs. Uh, move for the admission of Ooh, pictures. Ten eighty nine. Pictures are helping. Pictures are going to get us through this cross that I thought was going to be a little more interesting and is now just a boring litany of the fact that Johnny Depp does drugs, which we already know. Ooh, drugs. So this this picture of these four giant bags of, of pot, at least four. Um, One, two, three, uh, was four. Was taken in your recording studio. Did you hear Is him right? refrain to at least four? Yes, sir. Okay, you can you can take that down, Michelle. <laughs> the chat the chat's like it looks like good weed. <laughs> Are you at a good break point, Mr. Rottenborn? Just uh, sure. I, w the break would be fine. Okay. A break would be right, lovely. Let's go ahead and take our morning recess of fifteen minutes. Uh, a break would so be just fucking Don't great. talk to anybody. Don't do any outside research. Okay. Thank you, ladies. We're going to get to questions and super chats during the break. Uh, and none of us care about him doing drugs 10 years ago. <laughs> oh my God. Who cares? So they're waiting for the jury to walk out of the room, which is why they're standing respectfully. Um, and then they will talk about, right. or then the judge will leave the room. Let's make 1133. Okay. 1133. Okay. So Thank you, 15 minutes of a break. Um, let's time stamp the break. So we have it. I'm going to go through questions and comments. Let's see, where are we? 119. This is going to take for fucking ever. Oh, the, the blue is, is very eye catching in court. Okay. Let me remember to turn off this sound so it doesn't beep. Um, Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
<laughs> not me taking my actual break when the court does. Hopefully you guys can't hear the lawnmower outside. I mean, I, I don't know what all of this is about the drugs. Again, I am assuming that what they're going to try to get to is that, um, is that Johnny Depp maybe downplayed how much he drank before he got on that flight and that he was blacked out during the flight, but they don't seem to be focusing on specific incidents. I can understand the text messages um, where he is calling her names, like the, the things that can, that can seem abusive, even though he's not talking to her, the things that show abusive language, understand that completely. I can understand the drug use around the time of that flight where he's saying he was blacked out when yesterday he testified that he had only had a glass of champagne. Like I can understand that too, but I don't understand the rest of it. Like, didn't you have a giant bag of weed in the recording studio in like 2012? And everybody's like, so like, but so, so let me get to some super chats. I don't think this testimony is moving the needle very much. Hopefully they will have a point at some point normally with direct questions you can see with those leading questions on cross you can see what they're asking but here it's just did you text this did you do that i think we're going to get well into monday on this if this is the pace we're going for cross they're going to redirect and be like why did you text this what did you mean by that and they're going to redirect all of those text messages and all of those photos so redirect is going to take at least as long as cross if for those portions, because they're going to need to go through, um, they're going to need to go through all of that. So let's get to some questions and super chats. It's great to see all of you. If you are new here, go ahead and pop a one in the chat so the law nerds can celebrate you and welcome you. We've got almost 8,000 of you in here. Go ahead and like and subscribe. If you have blurry stuff or sound issues, just do a quick refresh. There are a lot of people on stream and there is a lot of people on YouTube today watching this trial because, well, it's interesting. So um, Charlotte H., thank you for the super sticker. Mr. Rottenborn is a former litigator from Kirkland and Ellis, so this is sure to get spicy. I mean, he he is a competent lawyer. I liked his opening statement of Hurd's team. I liked his opening statement the best, but it feels like he is ticking the boxes of being like, okay, these are the things we're getting in, but there's not a lot of flow to it, and it is just kind of boring. Um Amber Heard is in a Lauren Bacall look today. I mean, she's definitely leaning into that for sure. Um, M, M. Lou said, I listened to yesterday's audio file and it went for four hours. Four hours. I feel so sad about this whole situation. The audio, the jury is going to have all of it. They can, I mean, jury deliberations can take quite a while on this if they want to sit down and listen to all of the audio. They will have the entirety of the audio that was admitted in court. We only heard snippets and we will hear other snippets that are less flattering to Johnny Depp and more flattering to Amber Heard during her team's uh, case in chief. But they're playing the snippets that they want to either play in their closing argument or discuss more or highlight for the jury. They also get the um, the opportunity to kind of change the lens that the jury sees this case through by the evidence that they put in, right? We're building on those stair steps or dry stack, dry stack fence. <laughs> Sorry, I moved to middle Tennessee and now I've just got to embrace all of it, but they're building kind of stone by stone on this. And with that, um, they have the opportunity to go first. So, you know, that's what that is. Has anyone had an actor as a client? How are they to deal with? I've had actors as victims and they were very, very kind and very sweet and not um, very divish, very embarrassed. And the ones I worked with very much um, wanting their privacy and embarrassed that what had happened had happened. But I worked at a courthouse that covered um, that covered Hollywood and Beverly Hills in that area. So I would we would get those cases in that area of Los Angeles. He looks good in black. Will you go for verdict? Would you go for verdict? I don't know what go for verdict means. Um, I'm going to be covering Depp's testimony, Heard's testimony, and if there are other key, like Elon Musk's testimony, if I'm not traveling, I hope to cover as well. Um, so it just depends on, because I do have some speaking engagements and stuff coming up. So it really just depends. But I will be covering all of Depp's testimony and all of Heard's testimony if I can. Thank you for covering this. Lexi Unicorn, you're welcome. We do have a members-only live stream tonight. I will be populating that in a few minutes. So the members um, have it. We will be, well, we'll probably be talking about this, but we're also going to be talking about the Black China Kim Kardashian case. Yesterday in testimony, Black China was indicating that she held a gun to Rob Kardashian's head to be funny. 
So that case is getting spicy, but there's no, um, there's no cameras in the courtroom. There's just a very sassy courtroom sketch artist. And I'm loving seeing those come out at the end of the day. Could Amber Heard given her team Johnny Depp's triggers? Um, I'm sorry, I have fuzz on my lip. Amber could have absolutely told her, she would have told her team everything she knows about Johnny Depp. We, we need, we need lip. We need, we need chapstick. Um, she absolutely would have told her team everything she, I love this pochette, by the way. It's just, it's so cute. We're just sharing. We're just having show and tell up in here. She would have told her team all the things she knows about Depp well before the UK case and well before depositions. So she would, I don't think she would characterize it as triggers, but it would be, yeah, but there was this one time his dad did this. Yeah, but ask him about this time, this and this. She would absolutely use her knowledge of him to give that information to her lawyers. Good morning from Colorado. Thank you for taking the time to cover this. You're welcome. A huge thank you to Dr. B and my family because um, they've been very patient with me being a bit tired. Emily, does um, it favor JD by allowing him to talk more? I think it humanizes him to the jury. I think sometimes it can hurt when he loses his point. Those points aren't as saliently made when they're lost in kind of a stream of consciousness. But I do think it takes some of the sting out of the text messages because people see how he speaks and can see it. Some people, I'm sure some of you look at those text messages and are like, Ugh. but some of you are like, that's the way he talks. So it, it, the jury's going to take those perceptions away too. Um, thank you for the super sticker, Emily. Um, Averick, Emily, my wife, um, cat, cat D meow, cat D meow. Thank you. Is nine months pregnant and on bed rest. I hated being on bed rest. It was kind of absolutely the worst. You help her get through the day. Thank you so much. Thank you for that and everything you and your team does. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad you get to chat along with us. I, w during my first pregnancy, and my second was on a bit of bed rest. I watched a lot of reality TV. Every time I went to the doctor, she was like, what's going on in Jersey Shore? And I was like, oh my God, this. <laughs> we just got to live vicariously. I wish I had had a Nintendo Switch when I was on bed rest. But I did have swelling, so it probably would have been hard to play. But whatever. In my head, it seems like it would be a great idea. Hopelessly Dope said, I mean, they had dining, dancing, and drugs on the schedule for their wedding. Don't feel like they're uncovering anything for us by bringing it up. Exactly. I think they're trying to repaint the picture of Johnny Depp because the jury has gotten this picture of Johnny Depp from yesterday and his direct testimony. You know, what picture did you get in the chat? You, what was your takeaway? Um, and even if you're watching on the replay down below, what was your takeaway from Johnny Depp on direct? I got somebody who is had a very difficult childhood. This is my impressions. A very difficult childhood has had a very toxic relationship with um, Amber Heard is very um, is very eccentric in the way that creatives are. Um, didn't necessarily want to be famous, but is here and is kind of embarrassed by it and and has this vernacular and kind of lives a little bit more in his head and wants to examine a situation from all sides and is asked a question. And he's like, but let me tell you about this one time that this thing happened and then it's going to lead on to the answer. And he sees the world through that lens. It's the way he talks is very, very different. And he seemed sad. He seemed broken. And they are trying to remind the jury that this dude is calling his wife a whore and is doing a lot of drugs with very famous people. So even if he seems relatable to you, he's not like you. Look at this amount of weed. You'd be in prison. Okay. He's Johnny Depp. And I think that is... I think that's part of the point with today, but we'll see where it goes. I think it's trying to remind the jury, this is a celebrity with a lot of celebrity friends at night. I, I think that's where we're going with this. This is a celebrity with a lot of celebrity friends. He's running with Marilyn Manson. Elton John's trying to get him sober. Like, he's not like you. He lives in this other world. I think that's what they're trying to trying to change the perception of Johnny Depp. Here's the other side. Here's Here's what they're going to keep characterizing as the monster. And that's, that's, I think where they're going with this, how effective that is. Let me know. Do you, are you just sitting here going, what the fuck do we care? Does anyone care? Um, or are you like, Oh, like really? I see those text messages and I'm like, do we not see the red flags waving in your face when these are the text messages happening before the, um, marriage? Are we not raving, waving the red flag? 
what happens if there is a question? What happens if there is a question a person on the stand doesn't want to answer? Can they refuse? No. Or does something else happen? The judge can order them to answer. They have to answer and they have to answer truthfully. Um, and when they try to be evasive, the jury can tell. So no, they're under oath. They have to answer. And no one has a Fifth Amendment privilege here. There's no criminal cases pending. There's not going to be. All of these things are too old. So they don't have, there's nowhere to run on this. They have to answer. Now, I've seen judges order people to answer. Um, I've gotten into yelling matches with people going, you have to answer my question. You're not answering my question. Your Honor, can you please instruct the witness to answer the question? It's not everyone's thrilled to be on the witness stand. Jamie B says, thank you for covering this. Even if it gets annoying with Amber Heard's lawyer's questions, it is just dry. I was, I was, I was waiting for some feistiness, but we got some feisty moments. We got uh, Johnny Depp saying about Amber Heard that her perception is quite different than the truth. We got the, where is he going? <laughs> when Rottenbaum was walking back to a council table and then um, isn't it happy hour all the time? And they're not the yes men you'd like them to be. We had some moments, but not, um, I mean, there's not been a gotcha moment. Allison said, I'm loving your streams. I watched all day yesterday and I'm here today. Thank you so much. I'm enjoying doing it too. Lexi Unicorn, I agree. Johnny Depp did talk in metaphors and some of his texts come across that way too. Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton love hate. I mean, there is a whole, this, I think this is pure hate, hate at this point. Uh, reality said, I'm sure that Amber Heard has said just as vicious and mean things to him in his face. And I'm sure that she has done and said similar things. And we saw some of that yesterday. You make an excellent point that I don't think I've even brought up yet. We saw yesterday some of that audio that is very, very difficult where she's screaming at him and she's saying, I hope your son's stepfather teaches him to be a man and she went in on him and we heard her screaming that he was a you know whatever doddering old man i time stamped that in yesterday afternoon's stuff so we are going to hear unflattering things that amber heard has said to johnny depp and here's the unflattering things that johnny depp has said about her in text messages here's the thing this is mutually assured destructive destruction for all of them. Everything ugly and awful they've said has come up. If it's anything, A, it should be a cautionary tale about red flags, and B, know that the texts that you <laughs> send might come back. So be, um, be curious. Mustang Mickey, this is a great question. How come no one is asking if Amber was joining Johnny when doing drugs? Because this is Amber's team asking the questions, and they don't have to ask the questions fair on both sides. That's what redirects for. That's what his team gets to do. And his team got into that a lot yesterday. So um, Susan said she was vicious in those tapes, um, gritting her teeth in his face. The tapes are vitriolic. And I also think that the tapes have more power than the text messages because the the text messages, I'm just hearing rotten bombs say cunt. I'm not hearing it in Johnny Depp's words. Um, and he could have asked Johnny Depp to read the text messages, which would have been an interesting tack. It's like, Mr. Depp, can you read the messages? He has not asked him to do it. Can you read this out loud? We hear Amber Heard and Johnny Depp fighting in the moment. The second um, audio was less clear where she's berating him about being old and his fathering, but you hear it in her voice. That's going to stick in my memory as a juror more than just reading texts on a page. The texts on a page, the words on a page are way less shocking than hearing people screaming at each other on audio. Redirect. So in the pattern of, we get to talk about court procedure, in the pattern of a trial, you get the witness on direct that is called by the party who is presenting their case. We are in the plaintiff's case in chief, Johnny Depp. And when they call a witness, they do a direct examination of the witness. The rules of evidence are kind of slightly different on how you ask questions during direct and cross-examination. So the direct is the team that called the witness asks the questions. They're generally open-ended questions, not leading, sometimes foundational. Then you get the other side. They get to ask questions that are leading, that are more yes, no, that are more closed, that are more tailored, that can be more snippy. That's cross-examination. After cross-examination, the side that called the witness or, 
or the person testifying has the opportunity to do a redirect. You get to direct them again. So you get to go through the points that were made or the text messages and ask questions about them. What did this mean? What did you mean by that? And then sometimes, sometimes there is a recross examination where they get to follow up. Sometimes that back and forth can go on for quite a while. It really depends on the court and the court's tolerance for us for it and if it's needed. But on redirect, you don't get to go into new subject areas. On redirect, you get to address what came up in cross-examination only. So these text messages and photos, all of this is new. None of this came up on direct, but now they get to redirect it after the cross-examination is done, which is why we are a long way from done with the testimony of Johnny Depp. Um, Jamie said, personally, I'd be far more scandalized if he said that to her face. He was venting to his friends. Haven't we all said fantastical stuff to our besties when upset? I know I have. I got in trouble in high school for being hyperbolic about somebody who was um, started having relations with the person I was dating. I got called into the principal's office. They, did you say this? I'm like, I did say that to a friend who apparently ran and told somebody. It was not serious. Um, Haley R. McGinnis. Hello. Why is he allowed to read those in without really asking him any questions? Why is this not him testifying into the record? Because he's allowed to say, did you send this? Here's what it says. Did you send it? So it's them establishing it. And those, if the text messages were not going to be admitted as evidence, he couldn't do that. These are already going to be admitted as evidence. And so he's laying the foundation by saying, did you send it? So that that is why. Um, Lynn Love and Light said, heck no. He spoke to his own way of speaking earlier. Didn't he call it vernacular? He did. And then he called it again here, uh, vernacular. I think Hunter S. Thompson remains a huge influence on JD. I hear um, Thompson when he speaks. And he said that in his direct and then talked about them becoming friends. It seemed accurate. Tiffany said, not only do I find the text hyperbolic, I also find them consistent with his verbal speech and thought patterns who hasn't said things that they really can't defend, especially in volatile times. I have. And I think the jury will relate to that. Um, I think the jury will relate to that. I'm going to unmute this. Judges back on the bench. They're going to call court to order, and then they are going to bring the jury in. I'm going to read Super Chats while we're doing that. Emily, could you give a situation? How bad good is this situation for Depp? Um, I, I haven't seen anything that I'm like, oh, that's bad. I think I think this is kind of par for the course, but we knew a lot of this was coming from the UK case. These things have been available and out there. So there's we're not surprised that these things are coming in. Um, I think there's not been a gotcha moment yet, but I'll let you know if there is. I think that a lot of this stuff makes them both look bad, truly. And But we know they both look bad at this point. We know the relationship is toxic. How much weight the jury puts on all of this to defamation um, is going to be, uh, interesting, but I like the dark blue shirt. I didn't notice it was dark blue before until I saw it peeking out. Um, yeah, the hair slicked back is good. The jury can see him better. Cindy B said he's definitely speaking, texting metaphorically. I think so too. Um, I have so much to say. This is nothing more than proof of two people who loved each other and ended up in a very toxic, vicious cycle and reacted with anger. Right. Agreed. And maybe that is the point of the defense too. Look, um, everyone's toxic. You're toxic. Like it's just, they're all toxic. They shouldn't have been together. They triggered each other. He, he fled the fight when the fight came to him because that was his coping mechanism. She felt abandoned when he fled and that made her want to double down and fight. That is not a healthy relationship. And their couples therapist Mr. talked Depp, about it. Um, contrary to what maybe we've heard, the jury's heard earlier in this trial. Yeah, jury's, you became aware our jury many system is times interesting over here. the course of your life about your sister Christie's concerns about your drug consumption, correct? Who cares? Over many times in my life? Yes. Mm -hmm. How do um, I know what is, why is it this calling for speculation? What does he know about his sister's concern? Concerned. Yep, calls for speculation. Period of my life. Well, in fact, your sister's I want to see had a him number of worries about your drug I want to see him say, over many, doesn't many that call for hearsay? You, you've become aware of, correct? Doesn't it call for hearsay? Uh, How does he know his sister's state of mind? In in my youth. I since your youth. Sorry. Hmm? Since, since your youth. Can you ask again? I've lost what you're saying. Since, since my youth, my, my sister has not been um, necessarily privy to. He talked about uh, it. In his first half of Every testimony on the set of the Rum Diaries, that was day one of his testimony. Made, whether it be 
where you'd like me to go with the it is hearsay um, dependency or whatever um she has been a concerned sister in every way I think they want to let him answer about his sister the relationships that I was in that she was quite worried about see right that's right. why because he said she was worried about my relationship I know, I know. I was just, uh, in, let, let's that's do why. it this way giving right. your testimony let's let's turn to let's uh, not. day two of the UK trial the transcript that's in front of you please but you're not confronting him he's not being impeached he hasn't said anything inconsistent uh, day two so where would you like me to so page two what? seven nine uh, it's on page 28. Of but the this was part of it Please. is Upper right. my sister was worried about the relationships I was in. And that's why they're letting it in. Uh, page 279, that was. Y yes, sir. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> And on line 11, are you there? Do you have the document up? I don't know. On, on line? No, I'm sorry. Is it in your hand? Okay, great. Yes. Uh, on page or uh, line 11 of page 279, you were asked a question. Question, did your sister express anxiety to you about your drug intake at around this, this time? This isn't impeachment. Your answer, my sister Christy I don't think they has care, over though. many, many years since my youth had a number of worries about my consumption. Does this up. sound different to you? Yes, she talked to me. She talked to me many times over the course of my life, and yes, with okay. Miss Hurd, we did speak about it. I think she and Miss Hurd's ability to speak to one another stopped not long after this. Did I read that right? You okay. did. When you first started seeing Amber, you had um, you, you filmed the Rum Diary, but then you went a couple years without being involved and then you you saw each other on the press tour for the movie right is there a question that's correct and when you first started seeing her after that couple year um, uh, period of not seeing her you had just been checked out of a New York hospital um, where you had been for a couple days to fight alcohol use correct he talked about um, it being opioid yes. use and you were drinking uh, you were you were abusing alcohol toward the end of your relationship with your prior partner, Vanessa Parody, correct? I was drinking. You were drinking pretty heavily. Were you there? That's my question to you, sir. <laughs> were no, you drinking pretty heavily? Let's, heavily. We can, I mean, I, let's turn to the U UK. It's definition please. what you define as heavily, sir. He just, just wants to get to the transcript. Let's go. Yeah, he's like, I don't even give a fuck what you're UK answering. Transcript, please. I want to get to day one. I just want to get to the I'm shit you said before. Speaking. Okay, great. Let's just get to the stuff he said before. <sighs> my my tweet tweet on the street is not letting me add photos, and I'm very annoyed by it. Yes, sir. As they're flipping back. It was, yes. Yeah, 116 um, down onto 117. Okay. Um, on 116. Yeah, but were you there? Line 18. This again, I think will go is, to. I think one of the problems in that relationship downplay. was your alcohol and drug addiction, misuse, if you prefer that word. On cross-examination, they're allowed I to ask leading questions. I would definitely say towards the end of that my relationship with Miss Parody, the mother of my children, it was a very painful time to break up with someone that you have been with for 14 years and that you have two children with. So it was a very painful time, and I was more than likely trying to numb myself as much as possible. It's consistent. Question. Am I right in saying that you agree that you were abusing alcohol and drugs, but you have explained why? That is doesn't Answer. mirror the question you asked. I would say though. that I was abusing alcohol. I do not That's... know that I was abusing drugs, but I was abusing alcohol for sure. You asked, yes. were you drinking very heavily? Did I read that right? Different question. Those aren't the same. <sighs> okay. And there was a time in the early stages of your relationship with Amber when you explained to her that you weren't drinking alcohol at that time 
because you had a problem with your liver, correct? Um, yes, there was a... Uh... Yeah, I, there was a, there was concern over the um, the numbers, uh, as they call the numbers. it, over my uh, about my liver. Um, and you shared that with Amber, right? Yes, I did. And Amber, early on in your relationship, throughout your relationship, she didn't love the fact that you were drinking and using drugs. Correct. You've testified to that many times. I'm right? saying she was speculation as to what Miss is in as to what she loved. I'm That's fair. That sure. Do you want to rephrase? You understood that Miss Heard was not happy with you overusing alcohol or, or overusing drugs. Correct. What does overusing mean? Um, from the very beginning. Yeah, she was trying to be supportive of your sobriety. Correct. That calls for no. speculation. No. Okay. Let's look at Exhibit 182, please. Hello, hot mesh mom. Um, Amber will testify in her case. I don't think she'll testify during Johnny Depp's case in chief. No. So at some no, point, yes. Sorry. This is a, this is an exhibit. Oh, actually, yeah. You can set that that to the side, sir. Thank you. This is an email um, from Exchange. Okay. From you, um, between you and Elton John, Ooh. in 2013, July 2013. Yay! We get the texts. Correct. Correct. Um, and the second email down is an email that you sent to Elton John, uh, five Oh five in the afternoon. I hope we all get to see it. July 13th, twenty. We've seen some of those in other cases. Um, yes, EHC bunny. Uh, I think Honor, that uh, mutually assured destruction exhibit is where we are with a lot of this to publish. And it's as soon as redactions need to be done. Mm -hmm. Yes, your honor. There's, there's some email addresses in here and damage to her and that the damage to him that are not Mr. Depp's also be redacted as well. All right. That's fine. Okay. So no objection okay. with those redactions. Is that correct? Okay. So we're not going to get to see it. She's much more expressive today. Also, who wears their Apple watch this floppy? I have, I have a lot of questions. This, this is causing me distress. I can't unsee it. But that is causing me distress. Do we need a screenshot so we can tweet it? Yes. I have questions about the Apple Watch wearage. I'm not bothered that it's on the inside of the rest. I'm bothered that on that Milanese loop on the gold Apple Watch that it is so saggy. Like, I'm so bothered. <laughs> also, me fixating on weird things in the courtroom is absolutely what this jury is going to do they have I nothing that else to look at actions your honor may i just sure. have a moment to read of course i believe that covers it your honor they're redacting in real time i don't even know what this would look like having a team to redact in real time <laughs> amazing it would be amazing ah oh. so she doesn't want apple to know her heart rate changes that's very 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 interesting floppy watch i wear mine loosely there you go some of you are like what what is it um right no why so floppy all right 182 in evidence i like that his legal team is not going to be rushed Thank they're you, going to take their time they're like no it takes as long as it takes so this is this is an email that Ooh. you sent to elton john july 13th 2013 and Wait. michelle could you scroll down to the third no, paragraph don't from scroll the michelle it starts with the words on the other side of the coin We screenshot it and, and in it. that paragraph you write on the other side of the coin my kids have fallen head over heels in deep love with amber <gasps> my girl and that pressure off my shoulders is fucking gone y'all that is until the french extortionist parentheses x cunt attempts x, to x brainwash them against fantastic. her which i'm sure is imminent i i, I read that right didn't i you did read that very well. And the uh, <laughs> when you referred to the French extortionist um, and called her an ex-cunt, you were referring to Vanessa Parody, the mother of your children, correct? He could have uh, just said yes, ex. Things got a little um, you uh, can tight take that down. at that point between us, as they would. Can you pull up exhibit 214, please? They just opened the door. This is what's. This is why I went, ooh. 
they just opened the door to get in the stuff about his kids not liking Amber because yesterday Amber's team shut that down and we were starting to get into a letter that Lily Rose had written about Amber Heard and didn't go to their wedding. Mr. Depp, portions of this. We've already so seen that opens the door this, uh, to bring all of that in um, now. What I, I, I'm going to ask you about are the top three messages. These are messages um, to and from your daughter, Lily Rose. Uh, I believe on February fourth, two thousand fourteen. Oh, are they correct? just bringing it in? I'm, uh, we object, Your Honor. These are communications. We object to the admission of any communications from his daughter. That's a legal objection. Uh, yes, uh, hearsay. Uh, right. I, to, to, first of all, I was just asking him if, if, if that was if, what it was. But he's not um, very smooth in responding to this either. Okay. Uh, may we approach? So here's what it is. Um, what's going to be very interesting is that. Yesterday, they were talking about conversations with his daughter about Amber Heard. So if some of this comes in, I think all of it is going to come in. But the court was proper to say, what's the grounds for your objection? And Ron Bourne was like, wait, 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 wait. it seems that a lot of these attorneys are not fluidly used to this many objections um, which is interesting to me because litigators' objections are kind of your bread and butter. You know them. That's like that is the weapon. Those are the arrows in your quiver. Is your objection, objection, responses? I lived with my rules of evidence because that is what you have. So objection, emails with his daughter is not the objection. There has to be a legal grounds, foundation, hearsay, um, relevance, these kinds of things. There has to be a legal proper objection. Let's see who won this uh, sidebar. Mr. Depp, you understood um, they moved on that the last few years before Amber, but this opens up about the kids. Your relationship with your kids was such that there was a perception by them that you weren't around for them, and that that all changed when Amber came into your life. That's correct? compound. Objection calls for speculation. It's also compound. Just asking what he's aware of. Um, no, it's asking for what they thought. You're asking for somebody yeah, else's state of mind. You're, you're aware that, sure, sure, you're aware Sir. that the last few years before you started dating Amber, that there was a perception by your kids that you weren't around and that that all changed when Amber came into your life. Lacks foundation, hearsay, um, calls for someone else's state of mind. Th this is uh, not exactly the truth. Uh, what you're there you go trying to put forth no i'm just asking if you were aware that of my question that there was a perception that you weren't around for the last no, couple of years aware. before amber and that that changed when amber came into your life that's that's all i'm asking asked and answered your honor they were extenuating uh, uh, I'm sure if he's the answer to, for right. that objection I'll, I'll, I'll overrule that objection thank you um try again you're also aware that there was a perception you, you were you were made aware. It's interesting that Lily he just Rose moved on. That Amber was a good influence on you and changed you for the better, correct? Objection. Calls for hearsay. hearsay. Yeah. I'm just asking for what his understanding is. I'll sustain the objection. Let's move on. The judge is going to keep us sustaining those like Very she did yesterday. Brief, no, 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 no. That was that's sustained. You don't answer. I'm sorry. That's fine. <laughs> Me <laughs> yelling, no, 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 no. <laughs> don't answer. Look, if you're on the witness stand, wait till the judge tells you to answer or not. Um Mm. You're aware of the uh, the links that Miss Heard went to to care for, for you what when someone you were else impaired did. on drugs or alcohol, correct? You'd have to be specific. Okay, specific, let's let's be spe specific. Sorry, can you please pull up um, Exhibit Eight Thirty Nine, Your Honor? This is a recording. Oh, um, audio recording. Okay, and we plan Where to are we play at? One fifty three. Six. Minutes and fifty-five seconds. That's the time. Seven yeah. minutes and twenty-nine seconds. So, like a minute of audio. Is this a recording we already have? And no, this I is don't. Oh, now we've I, got to go through I, the foundational I, stuff. I, I don't believe so, but I'm not hundred percent sure if this has been. Michalina, will you timestamp it when they start? Thank you. Eight the defendants. Hello, Lonards. Is there any objection to that? Go ahead and uh. Like I and don't subscribe. Believe, assuming this is an audio recording between Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurt, then we have no objection. All it right. is. Okay. They opened the door yes. about his kids, though. That'll be interesting to see how that so gets addressed on redirect. I'm going to be looking That's for right. that. It's full content, but we're just playing a portion of it. Is that That's right? exactly right. right. Yep. Nice. Sorry, I keep pumping my mic. And permission to play um, the, the uh -huh. clip mentioned to the jury. Okay. I, I keep pumping my mic because I'm taking Fine. notes. 
Okay, 154. I'm going to try to gain this up. Yes, you do vomit a lot in your sleep, even more. Really? Oh, it's news to you? Then this is affecting you a lot more than I thought it was. <laughs> That's it. That's all. What's next? Council, question. You were worried about Johnny Depp wasting time. You you cut him off and said, I'm trying to be mindful of the court's time. Can you please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 1094? Also, I wonder Your if they'll get around. Approach briefly? Sure. This is going to be tedious. I wonder if they will come back around to whether or not she was gaslighting him. Um, the point of the audio was she's like, you vomit a lot. He's like, I do. And she's like, the fact that you don't know means you're even more messed up. <clears throat> means you're even more messed up. <coughs> Excuse me. But we saw Johnny Depp's testimony that a lot of the stuff that got recorded was because she would say things that weren't the same that he perceived them. Mr. Depp, so do you recognize this picture as being a picture of you? Yes, Ms. Hurd kindly showed it to me the day after she took it, yes. Okay. Um, He's just not going to answer picture, yes or no. That's not happening. I'd, I'd move for the admission of exhibit, defendant's exhibit 1094 and ask for permission to publish, Your Honor. Is this him looking crappy yeah, okay. after yeah. he's been using drugs or alcohol? This is a picture of you on a on a black leather couch, Ask. passed out, correct? Seems to be. Passed out is an interesting way of putting it. Maybe asleep. Where is it? What what residence? That's in Boston. I mean, I think it's fair with the coffee in Boston when spilling. I was doing black mass. In Boston. And that's um, that's ice cream on your lap, correct? It is indeed. Uh, okay. Ms. Hurd asked me to hold the ice cream as she noticed that I was on, on the nod. That means falling asleep um, from the... 17 hour day that I'd worked and okay. also the opiates that I'd ingested. Um, and if you'll notice, he's not going right to let this go in my pocket. Um, so I wasn't participating. He in feels the festival this is staged. Ice cream. Okay. Um, I was holding her ice cream and, um, because she knew what was going to happen, okay. that I would fall asleep and it would drop. And that was a wonderful picture to take for her. Sure. I so, don't know why she took it. But. Well, so it's Miss Hurd's fault that that picture was taken. Yes. And so, is that what you're saying? Yes. That's what he's saying. She, she snapped it. Okay. All right. Let's, um, let's talk about this because you say you were in Boston. This is when you were filming Black Mass. Yes. And you, you, you testify that that was he said kind of the she last planned film the that picture. you did um, when you were He talked about you, you the were opioids. taking opiates, right? Was, Yes, it was right before the <clears throat> the trip to the island. To, and you testified office. yesterday that um, opiates, you don't take opiates to get high, right? You, um, you, you, you've testified to that on a couple different occasions, correct? You certainly can take opiates to get high. If I doubled the dose, you. What about you? then I would most assuredly uh, be ready for sleep. Right. That's not a blackout. That's sure. So if you double, sleep. if you double the dose, you'd be ready for sleep, but it's it wouldn't get you high, in the way that other other drugs would. Correct? Is he an expert? Well, the, the, the high well, maybe is, he is. The, the high is different. How is it different? It's a, a extreme downer. Mm -hmm. um, it, it it that's its job. Right, and 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 for that reason, I believe you testified yesterday or two two days ago. It's not like you take those pills to get high. You remember giving that testimony, correct? Um, I said that it's it's not like I took the pills mm -hmm. to get high. I took the pills to Thank be you. normal, to stay uh, normal. Okay. So that I he testified about a back injury. 
What number did you say? I'm sorry. Uh, defendant's Exhibit 866. And he testified but I also about the nod. That I said that I asked <clears throat> nurse. There's uh, no question pending, though. They can object to I that. I told Nurse uh, Debbie uh, that. Your Honor, there's no question uh, pending. He's not going to let I it go. I told her that I needed he gets more redirect. than I actually took because I always wanted to have one or two in my pocket just in case mm -hmm. the uh, kick started. Mm -hmm. um, he sounds annoyed. If mm -hmm. you could take a look at the. Um, I'm agree with you. Do the text not volunteer at the top of that page. Um, he needs to narrow yes. it and it's let a text, it happen. Text on exchange between you and Aaron Boron. Rotten bomb shush. He needs to just answer what's asked and trust his team to get all of this on redirect. And he needs to trust. In, uh, August and September 2016, correct? Um, so I'm looking for the. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, which one are we looking at here? The, oh, the, the top, top three. And in the first, she tells you that she's watching Black Mass for the yes. third time, right? Um, he's yes, absolutely so redirecting yes. himself. Yes. And, um, Your Honor, I'd, I'd move for, uh, I'd like to admit this exhibit, um, 866, um, and permission to publish, Eight, please. Six, and particularly, seven, I'm talking five, about the top three texts. Oh, yeah. More texts. Exactly. Other text, just the top three texts. Eight, yes, six, seven, yes, Your Honor. Three, yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, we have no objection, but we would ask that the fourth text message be included as well right, as context. So four text sure. And obviously the phone number is redacted right. as well. Of course. Let's get um, Elizabeth, Let's he like. said yesterday of his opioid use and addiction that when he was ready to get clean and started talking to his nurses, that he felt he was taking more than he should. Um so that's that's part of what was going on. So I don't think he wants to. I don't think he wants to answer yes or no. He wants to explain. He doesn't want to look at that picture. Is this a picture of you? Yes. He wants to be like, yes, and. Yes, and. It's a picture of me, but also I feel like it's staged and she did this to me. He can answer all of that on redirect, but he wants to be heard and he doesn't want to just say yes. He wants the context in there. You don't always get the context on cross. He needs to answer the question asked. Rottenbaum hasn't said, sir, just the question I asked. He hasn't asked the judge to intercede. He's letting or he's choosing to let the jury see the interplay between the two. Maybe to say, look, this is why Amber was so frustrated. This is what you hear in these these. Um, this is what you hear in these audios. You hear in these audios that Amber is saying, that's not even the point. That's irrelevant. That's so yeah, okay. He might be doing this to try to recharacterize some of those other fights. So thank you, Your Honor. Michelle, could you blow up that third text? Starts with you or the Thanks, sweetest. Michelle. Wait, ah, please. Damn it. And in this text to Miss Borum, after she's telling you that she's watching Black Mass for the third time in a row, you write, Who? I was high as a motherfucker when I made that film. Ha ha ha. He was so happy that? to say motherfucker. Did I, I read that right? That. Yes, you did read that. Out. Is he talking now, about opioids? You can take so? that down. And you've trashed hotel rooms before simply because you've had a bad couple days and an unpleasant time, correct? I have assaulted a couch or two. Yes, sir. You'd agree that at times <laughs> in your life, you've expressed yourself through destructive behavior. Um, I have to make a note of I have assaulted a couch or two. Yes. And you'd agree that at times when you were angry, you smashed things up, right? More in my... Um, smash it up, smash it up. Uh, yes, lots of musical interludes today. Youth, yes. And you said in an interview one time, you said the following quote, you know, this is you getting into that he hits stuff. And you know, some guys go play golf, some guys, you know, smash hotel rooms. He's getting so into that, right? the it, it sometimes was, I um, hit stuff. It's just a yes or no question. You've said that before, right? In I've an said it as a joke. And yes. You believe that if something feels stronger than you, Again, that it's a human reflex to redirect. smash something or throw something against a wall or punch a door, correct? I don't believe that I'm the only human being that's ever. That's not the question, a door sir. That seems evasive, in a, though. In a, uh, an internal. That seems uh, evasive trying to justify his behavior. No, I, I you believe, believe that that's Don't justify that your way. behavior. You believe answer that's something or that don't. happens when you get frustrated, right? And that it's a mini explosion that comes and goes quickly. You agree um, with that, right? When I was younger, it was, uh, it was, uh, he's trying to rein in this witness. 
it was uh, and it's not working for him, but also more accessible, if, if you will. Okay. Let's pull up. Uh, I think please. that when he's evasive on answers like that, it doesn't help him because he's trying to distance himself from doing that. And they can point that out to the jury like they can point out that he doesn't want to answer about the violence. And if he had any if he you didn't have anything down. to hide, why not? This is an email exchange between you and Stephen Duders. Oh, yeah. The pool photographers assistant. got that Canon uh, in April lens of 2019. Working. You see that? Yes. And it's it's two pages, I believe. So let's go to the second page, please. Um, or that the bottom of right there. Um, and you see that on April 19th, 2012, you wrote him, I got drunk and destroyed my room. There are hookers and animals in here. Did I read that right? Yes, you did. Your Honor, uh, permission to, or I'd like to move for admission of Defendant's Exhibit 143 and permission to publish, please. Uh, as long as the email uh, addresses are redacted, we have no objection, Your Honor. All right, just redacting the email addresses, but the full content comes in, is that correct? Yes, Your okay, Honor. I just make sure I get this straight. Okay. Redact identifiers. And you guys, I, I'm just going through how I think the jury might see this. Um, oh, that's me. All right. It's, you agree uh, with let's that? Just, <clears throat> we just let's make sure that that's the only is that the only email address. At least they're being mindful of that. Okay. All right. Okay. Wait, wait, could you go down to the second page again? For a second? Go down to the second page, please. His signature line. Okay. Can we just see the top again? Just, okay. so, let's go to the top. So. I'm not sure what this proves, but I top don't. Of the, the top page. of the first page. Of Thanks. all the things today that I thought weren't helpful, it's Johnny Depp okay. trying to Thank distance you. himself. Okay. Do you mind if I read this, or are you going right. to read this uh, to me? One, we're gonna we're gonna take a look sir, at it. Sir, just wait. Three in evidence. You can just just chill. Um. Thank you, Your Honor. But I don't think it helps um, that he's like saying down, some Michelle? people do this, some people do that. I don't think that helps. So you write to Mr. Duders, I got drunk and destroyed my room. Yeah, no, no, there are no, no, hookers no. and animals in here. And then if you scroll up, Wait, no. he writes simply, watch out for Mike Tyson. Have you num numbed? Uh, correct. And then you write, don't want nummies. Thank you. Is it okay to put on a condom after the fact? I mean, if I just wear it for the rest of the day, like that works, doesn't it? I've had to kill a few of the animals for sustenance. I've made quite a mess. There's blood and animal tracks everywhere. I do you guys that right. think that's a joke? Because I read that like a joke. And you're you are currently you let um, me know uh, in a lawsuit for assaulting a crew member on the set of one of your movies in July 2018. Correct? Um, yes. Someone yeah. brought a case against me. Right. A man by the name of Greg Rocky Brooks is suing you for allegedly Objection, punching Your Honor. him twice. Relevance in the and. Um, Four, right, four, three and four, four. Yep. I don't, I think they dealt with this emotions in Lemonade. I didn't think they were going to be allowed to get into this. Uh, so we will see. I mean, again, there are moments here that his, that her legal team has moments of saying, look, he's downplaying. But trying to take a text message is where they say there's like animals here. I've had to kill some of them for sustenance and there's animal tracks and blood. Trying to make that email serious, I think, will go against the lawyers than than really proving that this um, that this is what he felt. Do any of us think he is actually saying that he has killed animals in his hotel room for sustenance and there are animal tracks and i think them trying to take some of these things literally and out of context is going to hurt them because again if they take this thing literally are they blowing everything out of proportion i don't think that's helpful to them to do that i think they need to focus on the things that talk about amber uh, Amber, and they need to focus on the things. Mr. That Depp, I'm not going to ask you any questions about the things. particulars of that lawsuit. You just did. But uh, other than this, the two bodyguards who were with you, you just on did. the set of the movie on the day that's the subject of that lawsuit were Sean Bett and Jerry Judge, correct? That's correct. He tried to get in that he had punched somebody two times. He tried to get that in. 
in the question and he got cut off pretty quick and then didn't win that objection because he's moved uh, on. Can we please take the, um, agreement? sure. Yeah, we can take that. Down. Thank you. So I'd like to, to shift gears and, and talk about, a um, talk about Hicksville. You, you remember taking a trip to a place called the Hicksville trailer palace in late May, 2013, correct? I do indeed. How could I forget? And the people, know. this what is happens? like a little mini trailer resort out near Palm Springs, Joshua Tree area. That's correct. All right. um, and the people that were there with you on that trip oh, there's were an Amber, on this trip. Okay. her sister Whitney, right? Um, a woman by the name of Christy Sexton, right? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> He's Rocky like, Pennington, sure. Yes. Right? Um, someone named Kelly Sue, Kelly Sue Milano, Milano or Kelly Sue Eater. You got me. You remember, you just remember Kelly Sue, right? I, I don't remember a Kelly Sue. Okay. Uh, it, well, in fact, you, you, Kelly Sue, you recall, was sitting close to Amber and, and you thought she was being affectionate toward her. You'd agree with that, right? Sitting close is not the description I would uh, give it myself. Well, you just testified you didn't remember someone named Kelly Sue, but I'm, I'm putting it to you. Well, you remember, remember someone named Kelly Sue who was sitting close to Amber and being affectionate, and you took exception to that, didn't you? I wasn't aware that her name was Kelly Sue. Terribly sorry about that. I didn't know her name, <clears throat> but uh, it was someone I'd never seen before who um, had clearly taken a, a, some happy something and uh, was uh, very affectionate with uh, my uh, girlfriend. Or and so you removed Kelly Sue's hand from Amber and you yelled at Kelly Sue and told her that Amber was your girl, right? That's not correct. That's not correct? No, sir. I'm sure there's a transcript. Not in the way that you're saying it. Right. I'm sure there's a transcript. And he clarified not in the way that you're saying it. But I think he's indicating that somebody was on, I don't know, happy something. I don't know. MDMA. No, 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 no. Don't help. There's no question pending, That's sir. The answer to your question. There's no question pending. But He's going to pull up the transcript. Not. Stop talking. You're not helping. So. We'll see. Well, Mr. Depp, it's not it's not a matter of how I said it. It's a matter of how you've said it. So let's take a look at page 239 oh, the exposition. of the UK transcript, please. This will be day two. Again, it's going to all be in the transcript. 239, 239. Page 18. So <clears throat> none of this is surprising. Someone needs to tell him just to sit quietly. It's hard to do, though, because he wants to explain himself. And we see that over and over and over, that he very, very much wants to explain himself and wants to be heard. But it can be detrimental. Um, don't offer, don't help. That's my advice, not legal Sorry. advice. That's all right. Practical okay. advice. Um, 239, yes. It's going to be two, 239 and 240. Okay. Thank you. And you see um, on page uh, 239, line... Uh, 22, you're being asked a question about um, the incident we've just been discussing. Mm -hmm. You're asked a question. He knows that. And how did you deal with but that But it's really hard in the situation? moment to not want to defend um, yourself. Page 239, line 22. 22, okay. Yep. You got it? Yes, I do. All right. Um, question, and how did you deal with that uncomfortable situation? Answer, I removed Miss Kelly Sue's hand from Miss Hurd's body, and I told her, do not do that. That, first of all, that is my girl. Second of all, it okay. is rude and invasive. She was quite glassy eyed and she seemed pretty unsure of her surroundings. She seemed very unstable on her feet. And I remember saying to her, if you were going to take this drug MDMA, you should know if you were able to handle it or not. Correct. Did I read that right? That's correct. And that's why and you ended up saying it's not the way this, you characterized it. Uh, incident, you went back that into sounds, the trailer that you and Miss Heard were, were sharing and you had a big argument. That right? sounds just like. Yes, it was. An argument. That sounds and just like what he said. started about Kelly Sue, correct? I don't Amber was unhappy with your reaction to her and what happened, correct? Objection calls for speculation. It does call for speculation. I, 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 I'll sustain the objection. And hearsay. 
Great. You had an argument with Miss Hurd, and you understood her to be upset with the way that you had handled um, that situation with Kelly Sue, correct? I, I mean, I recall that that was a a, a part of the argument, but um, as I had told Miss Hurd, I was sorry if this. I mean, I was protecting Miss Hurd's um, honor, and I was protecting my girl from someone who was clearly unable to uh, deal with the substance that, she, that she'd taken. Right. I can picture and Johnny Depp being like, God damn it. If you're going to take ecstasy, can you at least be sure and you can I, handle I your shit? Be differing accounts of I am so annoyed by this trailer, amateur bullshit. Uh, over the course of this trial, but you would agree with me. That's Mr. what I'm Depp, saying. That at a minimum, you smashed up a bathroom sconce during that argument, correct? Yes, sir. I punched I punched a, um, a, a, gla a, a bathroom sconce. Uh, that was and, right by the mirror. And uh, apologies if we've already covered this, but this trip was in late May 2013. I don't recall. Okay. Um, if you could pull up uh, Exhibit 181, uh, Michelle, I, I, this has already been admitted into evidence this morning, Your Honor. It was? Fantastic. No, I don't have 181 in evidence. Did we not? No. Oh, you know what? I, I forgot that this morning. I'm sorry. So 181. Um, the cadence is yep, killing that's me. Right. Yeah, we, we haven't looked at this one yet this morning. The cadence um, is Mr. killing Depp, me. I'm going to ask you about um, the, <sighs> the, the third text down. This is a text exchange from... Don, this is the better... Um, this is the lawyer I prefer you, on her team, but this is kind of painfully slow. Uh, text message from you uh, to Paul Bettany on July 11th, 2013, right? Yes. Okay. And then above that, there's a text message exchange um, between you and your sister, Christy, on July 10th, 2013. Correct? Okay. The, the text above it, yes. Yeah. Um, your Honor, I'd move for the admission of Exhibit 181 with of just those three texts. These are very highly paid no lawyers. Your Honor, with the property redaction. All right, we could get those redactions done. Thank Paul you, Bettany Honor. is an actor. Most recently played Vision. In the Marvel Universe. That's not what I meant to do. Um, it, this is kind of a slow and painful cross. I'm very annoyed. A lot of you have asked about how they got all these texts. This was all Sorry. part of discovery. Uh, could you please clarify which text messages are going to be offered? With the top three. Top. So this is all part of discovery. Thank you. Yes. I don't think anyone's messed up. I just think that a lot of this is stylistic. This is annoying, but there's nothing that's been wrong here. Trials are not always smooth. Sometimes they are plotting. This is plotting. Um, so it's just plotting. I don't think it's, I don't think there's been any errors. Um, it's stylistic stuff. So that's, that's where it is. This is, <sighs> Kelly, I appreciate your point. Um, because this isn't a criminal trial, there's no presumption of innocence. There is one side trying to prove defamation and the other side trying to prove defamation. And we're all watching along at home. There we go. So right, we to the, to those redactions. why are they going back so far? Because they think it's relevant to show, they're trying to show who Johnny Depp really is. That's what they said in their opening right, statement. Okay, 181 in evidence with redactions. All these texts came in through discovery. So Thank that's you, why. Um, on... If, I'd like to take a look at the text that you Court sent can to have Paul moments, Bettany on July 11th. This is you slow. Can blow that up, please, Michelle. No, Michelle, I wanted a screenshot. Stop it. In the middle. It's too big, Michelle. Back out. Back out. And we, we just talked about Damn this it. trip to Hicksville. Um, if you just, yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, if you go to the second paragraph or the kind of the, the fourth line down, you write to Mr. Bettany, missing you and yours and await our dangle on the island. You may okay. have to drink for me. I, of course, pounded and displayed ugly Did colors you hear the emphasis? to Amber on a recent journey. I am an insane person and not so fair-headed after too much of the drink. Weed, pills, fine. Booze, my capacity is too large 
and I won't stop. Ugly and sad. Oh, how I love it. Okay. Did I read that right? They say it pounded, but they are trying up, to emphasize please. this again. What's, this wait, what happened with Gwyneth Paltrow? From, I think he's going uh, to Gwyneth Paltrow for Joanna thus far. In which Christy texts you, she wants to talk to me. She doesn't know what to do. Loves you, but doesn't know always what to do. She's worried about it all. And you write to her, it was not pleasant today. I wasn't aware she had another goddamn photo shoot tomorrow. That's really why she fucking left. I don't need actress bullshit and her fucking ambition. Oh, we're going to get into the ambition. That's what you wrote to your sister about Amber on July 10th, 2013. No, no Gwyneth right? or Elton in Dude, this. They're just bringing in what like he said to, in these various text messages. The so this is what like he to said to, the, the to other stuff. Flight. That we've talked about a little bit. The Boston the plane flight which, is um, a hotly contested the issue here. The flight, and uh, sorry if we covered some of this, but just don't to apologize. Just ask questions, counsel. Of events, the night before the flight, Miss Heard was in New York, and you were picked up in Boston by private jet. So the the, the jet the flight incident picked Miss Heard up is pretty hotly uh, contested. Along with Savannah McMillan, and then flew to Boston and picked you up along with some other people. Is that right? That's correct. And then no. all of you flew back to Los Angeles. Depp's attorneys can't and the night indicate or coach the witness. It would be completely up, improper, uh, and it would look bad for the jury. He's got to do this on you his own. You and Miss Heard had a heated discussion on the phone about scenes that she was doing in a movie with James Franco, right? I don't recall what the uh, argument was about. There was, there are many to... Uh... Let's go to page 293 of your um, UK transcript, please. Yes. In his binder, he is checking off the items that he wants to bring in through this cross-examination and going through it kind of methodically, which I understand it's not always fun for us to watch. Um, it is just a... a I say two, 290, uh, 293. Yes. There's a lot. Okay. And on line 22, you were asked a question the night before you were due to meet up. Did you have a heated discussion on the telephone with Miss Heard about what was happening with James Franco, the scene she was doing with James, James Franco? Answer, I do not recall, but it the is UK highly The UK transcript likely. is from the UK right? Sun trial where he testified for In fact, five I'm not or sure six you days. Are. Okay. He's like, I don't know what's um, happening. Day so. two, page 293. It's on page 32 of the document. Line 22, I think, is the issue. Yeah, he absolutely Page has 32, to be thorough. The 22. style is Thank a little you, plotting. Honor. But yes, it... Line 22. Line okay. 22. On it has to 32. be thorough. Yes. Too many too, too many numbers. <sighs> so. Are you there? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, yes, so right. question. You. The night before you were due to meet up, did you have a heated discussion on the telephone with Miss Heard about what was happening with James Franco, the scene she was doing with James Franco? Answer, I do not recall, I but it is Franco. highly likely. Did I read that right? You, you did. And you suspected that Amber was having an affair with James Franco, correct? That uh, was the reason for your argument. Um, yeah, yes. And when you got on the plane, you considered that she was also being judgmental toward you because she believed that you were inebriated and under the influence of drugs, correct? That was a constant. And I'm talking about this particular plane flight. Well, he's trying to get to that she was being judgmental toward you because she believed you were. He's trying to get to why they were fighting on the plane in Boston. Plane, correct. He, yes. And at some point on the flight, you ended up sleeping on the bathroom floor, right? I did. You testified to that yesterday, correct? I did. Yes, sir. And when you landed, you were you were quite ill when you landed in Los Angeles, correct? I don't recall being quite ill. Um, I, it's possible. I don't know uh, what you're referring to. Let's Maybe take you a look take at me there. Page, yeah, sure. Let's take a look at page 313 of your UK transcript, please. So they're going through the UK transcript to talk about it. So it's on page 37 of the document. That's helpful. Give him the page number. Um, 
And I can understand if Johnny Depp, because what we heard from Depp with how he met Amber is that when they were filming the Rum Diaries, they were both engaged in other relationships and they had a kiss on set that Johnny Depp said felt like more, um, more than it should have been seeing that they were both in other relationships. And then when they saw each other for the press junket, that's when their relationship really began. So I'm not surprised given the nature of their relationship that he would be uh, suspicious that when she's working another film with somebody and having intimate scenes on that film, that he would be suspicious about what's going on. So I, I'm not surprised by that, but it sounds like they were just fighting back and forth. He he thought that she was cheating. She thought that he was drinking. And it seems like every interaction um, when they were suspicious of each other they would fight and we know that they would fight. Does that mean he kicked her on the plane when others on the plane say that he didn't? No, but the jury is going to be left parsing this relationship, trying to figure out if when Amber Heard said in an article that she became the face of domestic abuse, if that was true or if that was defamatory. And that is the heart of this case. But what is difficult for the jury is they might come away looking at this going, this is an abusive relationship back and forth. And because of that, the statement's not defamatory. They were a mess together. So this all coming Mr. in- Jeff, you have page 313 in front of you. Can help, can okay. help can you Amber side. Read, uh, you can read to yourself the- um, the uh, page 313, line 14, that starts with the word were. And I don't think there yeah. will be poop because and the deputies and the sheriffs the in the answer. courtroom would never allow it. But um, we're definitely going to be talking about the poop of it all more. So even if she was cheating, we don't know that in this trial. That's not been presented to the jury. We don't know. Does that refresh your recollection that you were quite ill when you landed in Los Angeles? Um, it might yeah, refresh his recollection does, that he said it. It doesn't uh, refer to the, me being ill on the plane. Um, That's not sure. the question he asked, okay. though. That's fair. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the plane ride in a few minutes. Oh, I thought um, we just did. <laughs> let's let's turn to exhibit 230. No, you're not done yet. Defendant's exhibit. So I'm I'm just what are we doing? I mean, I I get that they want to get to the plane. A mess going on over here. I have, uh, He's pulled he the, pulled the transcript apart, oh. and I don't have a mess. So excuse me. He should have told him it was on the screen. <clears throat> These are text messages that you sent to Amber on May twenty fifth, two thousand fourteen. The they day do after not the do flight, trial on correct? Friday. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, Your Honor, uh, move for the admission of Exhibit two thirty six and ask for permission to publish with the um, with the identifiers redacted. No objection, Your Honor. All right. If you could just. Redact those identifiers. Does Amber Heard cheating have anything to do with defamation? No. No, it doesn't. But it's, it's even her lawyer's bored. But it's going to the heart of this fight on the plane and why they were fighting on the plane. And again, Ron Bourne said he's an obsessed ex-husband hell-bent on revenge. This is trying to paint that picture of the obsessed ex-husband hell-bent on revenge. Whether it will paint that picture or not is really up to the and in jury. And this email to Amber. The These are like the texts, plane flight, not emails. You write her and you say, once again, I find my place. Sorry, start over. Once again, it's I hard find reading myself out loud. in a place of shame and regret. Of course, I am sorry. I really don't know why or what happened, but I will never do it again. I want to get better for you and for me. I must. My illness somehow crept up and grabbed me. I can't do it again. I can't live like that again. And I know you can't either. I must get better. And I will. 
for us both, starting today, I love you. Again, I'm so sorry, so sorry. I love you and feel so bad for letting you down. Yours. And Did I read that right? Those were <laughs> iMessages. And let's pull up and? exhibit 245 one more time, which has uh, been admitted into evidence uh, this morning, Your Honor. There are things redacted out that are identifying like the email addresses, phone numbers. These are iCloud messages. I think all of this, again, goes to addiction. Does that go to the fact that he physically assaulted her on the plane? Because I'm not seeing it from that text message. That I mean, that's Mr. Not Depp, I, I know that we've seen this before. He's contrite. Um, he addressed that yesterday. But your email that I just read to you. That wasn't Ms. an Herb email. Or your text. God damn it. It was, was an iMessage, Jim. 2014. Five Michelle, days later, make it a little small you Michelle. text your good screen. friend, Paul Bettany, and you tell him that you had oh, drank this. all night before you picked up we already did Amber this one. to fly to LA. You tell him that you had had no food for days powders which is mm -hmm. cocaine right and powders is cocaine right could, sure. be, could yeah. be others half a bottle of whiskey a thousand red bull and vodkas pills two bottles of champers on plane and then you write what do you get i might start calling it champers after this trial agro engine in does anyone believe that he drank a thousand red bull and vodkas any fuck who got near do we I, believe that? I'm done. Do we believe any of that? I am admittedly too fucked in the head to spray my rage at the one I love. Uh, okay. I For little that. reason. He got angry. Well. Sure. I'm too old to be that guy, but pills are fine. Did I read that right? You did. Now, right. Everybody's like, no. If his attorney up. keeps trying the to take things that are hyperbolic so seriously... That it was could about give the jury room when to you wrote two bottles of champagne kind of on the plane. The rest of that it was too. about the plane ride from Boston We have a half an hour left of this this morning. Yes, it comes just after a thousand cans of Red Bull. <laughs> and at least two, at least parts <laughs> he thinks of it's that hyperbolic plane flight, too. you were in a blackout, right? All right, we're going from this champs is, to champers. I like it better. The There's no reason you'd tell Paul Bettany that you were in a blackout if it wasn't true, correct? There are, are, again, when I, when I, I'm not in denial. I just think that when, when they take text, the hyperbolic stuff too seriously, it takes away the I'm weight of a, the other stuff. Uh, I don't think any of this is ideal. I don't know if there's defamation place. here, but I think trying to play up things that it's, are clearly hyperbolic it's, 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 it's hurts a them. Canvas. It's a painting. Right. You I, choose I appreciate your appreciate that. That wasn't my question, sir. I, my question was very simple. Okay. Would you agree that at least on parts of that plane flight, you were in a blackout? Uh, no, I wouldn't agree that I'm in a, I was in a blackout. Okay, let's look at page 333. Blackout and when you're on opiates. Let's look at page 333 of your transcript. please. And he was talking about his statements being a painting. It's the way you paint a picture. That's day two. And that's going to come up on, UK on redirect. But again, if they need to hammer on the things that are serious, not the things that are hyperbolic and distinguish between the two, because if you treat everything as literal, it takes away the weight of everything. So. Your Honor, may we approach, please? Okay. We've got about a half an hour left today. Um, you know, again, we will see how much weight this has with the jury at the end of the day. This is all the cross-examination of trying to show the jury that Johnny Depp is not all of who he portrays to be. Because they said in their opening statement, which is supposed to be a roadmap, and it got very wandery at the end, but that they are painting him as an obsessed ex-husband, hell-bent on revenge. So they are going to use these text messages and iCloud messages and other statements to try to prove that he's downplaying the incidents. Yesterday, he talked about the fact that he maybe that had page, a glass Mr. of Depp? champagne on the plane. Today, we've got text messages okay. with him you saying he's blacked eight, out and drank a glass of red question, bulls. Question, questions, but parts of that flight are blacked out. Answer, apparently, but yes, apparently, that is what I'm saying to Mr. Bettany. Question, yes. Is there any reason why he's, you would say that to Mr. Uh, Bettany if it were not true? answer 30 minutes until not. lunch 
Did I read that right? You did. And it's you would agree that okay. on that flight you were very drunk and that you had taken drugs either before or during the flight, correct? I know that I, w well, I, I knew that I was going to have a very ugly, um, I was going to end up with a very ugly situation with Amber. So Mr. Depp, I doubled with, with up respect, the, um, trying to respect the court's time and the jury's time, that was not my question. My question was simply, you, you would agree, to look for a you would agree, you would agree that on that flight, <laughs> You Did you hear Depp say, well, it's taking you five minutes to look for a document? Before or that was during, funny. Or both. Because it's uh, what right. we were thinking. Compound. All right, so it was compound, which means too many questions in one. That you were very drunk on that flight. I don't like his Correct? style of cross. I do not agree that I was very were drunk. Were you very on drunk that on that flight, flight yes or no? And you would agree that you had taken drugs. Did you take drugs, yes or no? Flight. Correct. Stop with the I would you agree? I had a double dose of the um, Roxycodone, which is different than a blackout you but, but he's going to get to that on redirect i i don't recall drinking a whole you don't need to drink a whole lot when you're on those things you, uh, oh, you don't have time he is starting to look defensive you drunk i think so on the, on the flight okay i, I don't recall being drunk no. all right let's let's look at page 335 he doesn't recall being drunk okay mr Rodman. he doesn't Where's recall being drunk he's like i don't recall being drunk Line 11, please. But again, you were asked a question. Depp needs to trust his question. team. I want to make sure it is quite clear what you were saying about the Boston plane incident. You were very drunk. You had taken drugs either before or during or both. Do you agree with that? Answer, sure. For the purposes of getting through this, let's say yes. Everything you have said, I agree. Was he being sarcastic? Because that, that sounds right. like sarcasm. You did. Um, this is I why sarcasm is. From... That, I, I my question was simply, did I read yes, that yes, correctly, yes, Mr. Yes, Depp? I understand. Now, um, again, on sarcasm doesn't play well uh, we in a transcript up, after the um, fact. Exhibit this will all come please. in and redirect, which means I think he's going to be on the stand through the Actually, day Monday as well. You know what? Let's go to, to exhibit 221. Because they will redirect this. You can see the size of his binder for that's probably a binder just Your for Honor, depth. This is um this is a recording. Um and I, I'd be happy to read. We're gonna play three three uh excerpts from it. Okay. All right. No we love a recording. Are you recording coming in? Is that correct? Um can can may we approach? I would just like to know what it is first. But this is why you need to be mindful in your testimony, because, again, sarcasm doesn't come across. But he's trying to say, you said you were drunk, and here's what I have to prove that you said you were drunk. And it's, sure, for the purposes of getting through this, fine. I don't think that, again, is a gotcha moment. That's, that's just him saying, for the purpose of getting through that, fine. He has said time and time again, I took multiple opioids. I knew we were going to fight. I had a glass of champagne and they're like, you were drunk. And he's like, I wasn't, I was on narcotic painkillers. And they're like, but you were drunk. And he's like, but I wasn't though. I was on narcotic painkillers. And the rest of us are sitting here going, the fuck does it matter? Because they're trying to prove that he's lying about this fight and this flight because they're trying to prove that he doesn't remember kicking Amber Heard. And he's saying, no, I was not blacked out. I remember that flight. And I spent a lot of that flight locked in the bathroom after taking multiple Oxycontin. They're trying to change how it is. And he's like, this is how I see it. And Amber Heard's going to testify and be like, this is how I saw it. He's saying that Amber Heard keeps thinking that he's intoxicated on alcohol when he's not. And that's part of this. <sighs> so all of it is frustrating. If they just said, okay, so you were under the influence of opioids, he would be like, yep, Your that's Honor, not a blackout. Um, it's different. We would offer the, the full exhibit 221 uh, okay. into evidence with the following three excerpts to be played. The first is the start of the audio It'll be interesting to through hear one minute. What we see. Just okay. one, the first full minute. 
and then 250 through 320. Don, our mods have been amazing. We're all a little exhausted today. And then 930 through 10 minutes. All right. Please. So 221 in its entirety in evidence, but you play those excerpts. Got it. So he's, Depp's trying to distinguish between an alcohol-induced blackout and being asleep. This is the plane. Sorry, headphone users. I didn't think so. I think this is sad. I do. I think this is sad. That's how I interpreted it. You guys might hear it differently. That's your voice making those moaning sounds sound like an animal in pain, right, Mr. Depp? That's a characterization. That's, uh, that's exactly what I uh, said before. Yes, that is uh, sounds like a pained animal. Let's go to my voice, please. I'm only hearing played noise. I heard nothing in then that. Let's go to play 930, please. I just heard plain noise. I think they're trying to prove that he doesn't remember this flight accurately. So his re recounting of it is not accurate. I just hear plane noise. I just hear plane Mr. noise Depp, on that. Do you know who the male voice is um, who at around 941 says, no, I'm going to stay with this fucking idiot in case he gets sick? You know whose voice oh, that was? I didn't hear those words. Okay. I didn't um, either. Um, All right. Yes, that's um, Jerry Judge, if you wanted me to answer that. That was Jerry Judge's voice. Okay. Yeah. So you, you, you finish this flight. You send the text that we've seen to Amber. You send the text to Paul Bettany. And... Uh, at some point after this, you decide that you want to go to detox and you went to detox. Uh, you testified a little bit about it yesterday in August of 2014 uh, in the Bahamas, correct? The recording of the pain noises is not from that flight, sir. Um, when are no, they my from? Question. My question is you went Wait, to detox I'm curious. in August 2014. What? Right. Don't recall exactly. And you were there on the island with... Oh, on the island, yes. Yeah, of course. you were there on the island with uh, Amber and Debbie Lloyd and Dr. Kipper, correct? That's correct, yes. You and Amber were I have on questions. one side of the island, right? Yes. And Amber was effectively dedicating herself to your well-being during this detox process, correct? You could describe it as that, as... Uh, at, at the beginning, yes, yeah, certainly. She was trying to help you get through it, right? One would think. And she, as Being far as you know, she's help. never been in any sort of detox in her life, right? Certainly not when you were together, correct? No, I don't think so. Okay. And we, we all heard your testimony yesterday. Detox, um, it sounds painful. It sounds tough. Fair? Um, yes, that's... Um, and you... you you testified yesterday. Lazy's trying to be respectful. Not giving you medications at a certain time, but you, sir, have you have no personal knowledge of whether 
or when Amber had been in touch with Dr. Kipper or Debbie Lloyd about when to give you medicine, correct? Um, I you remember, have no personal knowledge of that. Yes, I do. I remember Amber calling them on the radio and uh, when I was uh, complaining that I needed the meds when I was in uh, agony and went to the shower, she called them up because she had said that I was in a manic state or it was in some mania um, and they came up there. Okay. And sometime after detox, if fair, and you heard, you said that they came up there, but my, my point to you is you have no personal knowledge of what Dr. Kipper or Debbie Lloyd communicated to Amber about whether and when to give you medicines. You weren't part of those communications, correct? Oh, uh, sure I was. Uh, I was there during, during. Jay um, Jets, Depp was the only witness yesterday. Discussions. Right, uh, there were times, times sort of written down, but, uh, you know, the golden rule essentially is if the patient is in an uncomfortable or uh, dangerous, potentially dangerous state, which would lead to seizures, uh, medication be should be distributed. That's what I remember. Even though if it was supposed to be delivered at 4 p.m. and it was 3.15 or 3.30, I... You know. I have a lot of questions you, about the plane you, flight. You recall the golden rule was, right? Yes, okay. I mean, that's what doctors and patients... And, do and after, sometime after deta detox, you texted Amber and, and you cross, said, he doesn't want to hear thank it. you so much for it. getting me fucking clean, baby. Right? Okay. Remember that? Yes, I did. Okay. And you, um, actually, let's pull up. Okay. You, you didn't just express your thanks to Amber. You expressed it to other people as well, what Amber had done for you, correct? Let's pull up exhibit, plaintiff's exhibit. Okay. 120, page 41. It's interesting because the way that the attorney asked the this question exhibit, seemed that the recordings they were playing was from the plane flight from Boston to LA where Amber alleges that she was assaulted. But if that is from a different plane flight, it's interesting the timing of that character. Am I searching for something? <laughs> this is a screen thing. Okay. Great. It's interesting that the characterization and the timing of it, because I took it to Same be that Boston to flight. Rotate. If that is at a different time, then I need different context because the lawyer seemed to frame it that he had and, gotten um, blackout drunk the, and then we're getting the this, only this question I have audio of moaning on the, the plane. Uh, so it seemed like they were connected and then depth like those aren't the same time. And that's odd to me to characterize it that way. Of the page. I need clarity from that on redirect. Sent on August 19, 2014. From you to Paige. Now, Paige is Amber's mom, right? That's correct. Okay. Um, Your Honor, I'd move for the admission of um, just this page of this exhibit with just that text and the identifiers redacted. He. Which page of this exhibit is it? Okay. Sorry. Which page of the exhibit is it's it? It's at page 41. Page uh oh, all the coffee's gone. Or it's listed as exhibit 120 underscore 0041. 120, just make it a page. Four. So I really want to know, I really That's want them to thing. address on redirect what's going on with so just to be clear if it's that just plane flight audio. Text message yeah. and the identifiers are removed. We have no objection. Okay, so we yep. redact that that way. Thank you, Your Honor. And, and just that page, yes. And just yeah, sure. Page 41. All right, so, so 128. And we've got about 15 minutes before the court will break to lunch. But I, again, I'm left with a lot of questions about that audio that they just played because they didn't tie it together in timing well, which means that Depp saying publish, that's not the same Thank flight you. leaves me um, leaves me with Mr. a lot Depp, of questions. This is, in this text, that and it you doesn't look good for the lawyers, I don't to think. Page heard Amber's mom on August 19th, 2014. You say the following, and, and I understand that you gave certain testimony yesterday about. No, oh, don't um, couch. Just ask the question. Miss Hurd's uh, role in your detox to be, but but on this date, you sent this text to Miss Hurd uh, to Paige Hurd, and you say, "I couldn't have made it without her. I would have gone for a swim, and swallowed a big drink of ocean without her. To be honest, it was a hell of my own doing." 
and your little girl walked through with me step by step. I know you're already proud of her, but if you'd have seen her in action, amazing. It was an exercise of monumental patience and instinct. I wouldn't be alive, sweetheart. There were more than a few times when I thought it would be more simple to take that route. It was Amber and Amber only that got me through this. Okay. And it was not easy. Thank you for her first. And thank you and that sweet fucker, David, for all of your words of support. I'm through the other side now, I think. I hope. All this boy's love, your son, Outlaw. Did I read that right? You In-law for an outlaw? Is that where we're going with that? So they're trying again to show that his characterization of things are not necessarily the way he responded now, to them in flew, real time. Um, you got married to to Amber on uh, early February, February 3rd, 2015. Apparently. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Um, you remember the year today? 2015, right? That sounds about right. Okay. And do you remember the year today? Wedding, um, you left for Australia to start the process of shooting the fifth Pirates of the Caribbean movie, right? That sounds about right. Yes. So we're up to Australia. And Amber was filming in London at the time. She left directly from the wedding to fly to London to film London Fields with Billy Bob Thornton, right? That's correct. And the plan was that she was going to fly out from London to Australia directly to join you for the filming of Pirates 5, right? At some point, yes. And she was going to stay in that house with you for the duration of the filming, correct? Um, I, I don't know that it was the duration, but I uh, sure. Okay. And you testified you on just agree, but Tuesday, he does. I guess that when you went there in like, yeah, February whatever. of 2015, you'd been off of alcohol for 18 months. You testified to that. Remember giving that testimony? Um, yes. That's just nonsense. Right. And we've already looked at Thank you. May, May 2014, you were drunk on that plane and you've admitted to that. That's not That's what not he said. That's not 18 months before. That's um, not what so he that said. that testimony that you gave when you said whoa, you whoa, 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 That's compound. You February aren't allowing the witness to answer. Objection. Not true, correct? Objection. May we approach? Your Honor. What's, I mean, it, what's <laughs> the objection? He's testifying, Your Honor. Agreed. The compound could just do maybe one question. Okay. Maybe just the one question instead of a rambling stream. Mr. Depp, you had not been so though they do need to object off of alcohol with the legal grounds for Australia objection. In February 2015, first. correct? There we go. One is uh, it's possible that it was not 18 months, maybe it was 17, maybe it was 16. Maybe. It was actually a lot less than that because at a minimum, you were drunk on that plane flight from Boston to Los Angeles. In um, May of 20, he never said he was drunk on the flight. Sir, I said that I had had a glass of champagne and I had taken a double dose. He's maintained that he was not drunk on that flight. Opiates. In fact, they That's keep saying he was drunk. Thing from being drunk. He okay. keeps saying a he was a very wasn't. different thing from what you texted Paul Bettany, correct? Again, okay. okay. So <laughs> she he didn't answer. You, you, I would object and say allow the Boston answer. flight was in May 2014. You go to Australia. It's in interesting. February in the last 15 minutes, he's getting spicy right when the attorney knows he's going to get a break. For 18 months. Now, that's interesting. When you went to Australia. Nope, that's compound. In February of 2015, you also lied to the cast insurance company that was insuring you for Pirates 5, didn't oh. you? Oh. About what? After she cut my finger off? No. no. Well, that's your, your account of it, sir. Before you went to Australia you let's do it this way let's pull up exhibit let's do it this way let's ask a clear fucking question so we know what you're talking about i want to know what he lied about what are, what are, what are we saying he lied about i'm curious and i agree he keeps saying you he rottenborn keeps saying you said you were drunk and he keeps saying actually that's exactly what the fuck i didn't say mr depp you see this is a it's called a cast insurance medical certificate correct uh, yes, I see that. Yes. Okay. And no, but I'll talk about this. It's dated. Lunch break. This is in, um, I believe it's in uh, the, the, not the way we do dates in the U S because you can see on the, the lower left column, examinees start date of filming 
16 to February or February or 16 to 2015. So oh that means God, February 16th, 2015. I'm correct? so fucking lost correct. in this question right now. Your and Honor, the date of the Your Honor, what the fuck? Before we, be, before we go any further, we'd ask to be able to see this entire document. Uh huh. I'm just asking about the top of it. I'm that's I'm nope. Happy that's not how that everyone. works. There's specific parts I'm going to ask him about, but if we want to, if they want to scroll through it. That's oh, look at it. Unclear whether. But if we need to look at the whole thing, we just appreciate Rude. the courtesy of being able to see the entire document. Uh huh. That's fine, Your Honor. I mean, right. I, I, I'm going to direct him to uh, the of it, but that's fine if they want to. That's fine if they want to look at the entire exhibit. Yes, they do. Of course, they want to look at the whole exhibit. And that's fair of them to take a pause and say, "We want to see what you're impeaching him with." We want to see what this is. That's fair. Um, I've seen a number of questions about his attorneys not objecting. Sorry. I have a hard copy if you'd like to look at that. Some of that might be like strategic. Three. Oh. If, if I may approach your honor, that would be. Oh, no, it's, it's a... no, don't cut the mics. I'm confused. What? I, they just scrolled to the last page, so we can just view it here. Thank you. Michelle, can we just get to the page that we're talking about? So his attorneys, Thank you, sorry. it I might be strategic. Do you want me to one? Your question? Yes, I, I do. Um, Mr. Depp, this is your signature on the page of the document being displayed here, correct? That is. And many? it's dated uh, February 11th, 2015. Okay. Correct. Um, Your Honor, with the understanding that if the exhibit for the court will have to redact signatures, I'd move um, for admission of this document and permission to publish. What is it? Insurance? Uh, Your Honor, this is, has, may have some medical information. So at, at this time, we'd like an opportunity to insure. <gasps> this this is mean, an insurance form with medical information. I just want to make sure we're not publishing anything. Exactly. Your That's Honor's fair. Your Honor, clear that anything that comes into evidence in this case will be published to the jury, whether it's well, there confidential may be or not. medical information that Your Honor has already ruled is not admissible. In the motions of limine. Fair. It, that's fair that's fair so it seems that this is an insurance contract for his insurance on the movie i think they're trying to i this is what i'm getting i think they're trying to impeach him with it by saying that he had lied in some way they are saying that um they are saying that there is some medical information in here i don't know if he was required to sign that he was not drinking or if he was not using drugs or if he wasn't I'm not sure what that can contain. Those types of contracts can contain those types of things, but they are somehow trying to prove that he lied on an insurance form. And the only reason I'm getting that is because he got it in the first part of the question. Umbridge today looks very annoyed with this. We keep seeing her doing this. Like, ugh, really? You want to see the exhibits? They are, they are looking flustered and I don't know why. And Rottenbaum is like, why do we have to show it to them? They have the right to make objections. He's upset because this is impeachment evidence and he might not get into all of it. But if it has medical information that has already been dealt with in the motions in limine, you can't just kind of try to slide it in sideways um, if it's already been redacted out. So that's why this conversation is coming up. That's why they are standing there talking to the judge. We are so close to the lunch break. If more needs to be redacted, I can very easily see the court saying, you know what, we're breaking for lunch, figure it out over the lunch break. We're not doing this now. We're going to let this jury go. There's five minutes to lunch. We're letting the jury go to the cafeteria. We will talk about this during lunch, but he doesn't want to lose the momentum he has of this point. So let's see what happened. We're all waiting. We want to know what happened. Y'all go ahead, by the way, and like and subscribe on the stream. We have subscribers chat on to cut down on bots that tell you to go look at videos of things. But go ahead and like and subscribe the stream or like, like the stream, subscribe to the channel, all the things. But um. It looks like they're trying to catch him in a lie about something with regard to his medical information on an insurance form, and that's what we're getting into. Both of them have um, both of them have pretty sizable legal teams. What's happening?
Amber and her attorney smiling together is an interesting, like, why are we kind of giggly today? I don't, I don't understand. I'm fascinated watching it, but I don't understand. But they seem to think a gotcha moment's down, coming. Michelle. So let's scroll down again. Wait and see what it is. Okay. Your Honor, the, these redactions were on here before we, uh, I'm told before we got the document. So no, no issue there. And then um, we would propose to just redact the, um, if you go up one page, I, I don't. I don't know why they're talking about the proposed redactions the proposed on the redaction. record when they just had a sidebar, but okay. And if, if you want us to redact the, the, the first two, the first three lines, M, N, and two, that's fine too. I like that they can do those, Michelle. I like that they can do the redactions in court. I'm assuming Michelle is one of their uh, paralegals because she is the one doing I'm the redactions. I'm just trying to move this along as quickly as we can, Your Honor. I think we should break for lunch and let you do the redactions over to lunch break, but that's just me. Uh, Sandy, this is a great question. Yes, for impeachment purposes, they can right. bring in things that have not been turned over. They can bring in things that didn't turn over. So, yeah. Thank you, Your Honor. So we looked at your signature, Mr. Mr. Depp. If scroll um, scroll down, please, Michelle. Um, two more pages. There's your signature, and then this is a it's an insurance form for um, for your that, that the studio Disney I'm fascinated out for your um, for you. Very common Pirates Five. By correct? the way, there's going to be insurance. Uh, I don't. I don't. I guess so. Yes. Okay, and you see the role here. Uh, it's listed as. Captain Jack Sparrow, I don't Johnny want him Depp, to just agree. Coverage status, full coverage, effective date, February 11th, 2000. They're redacting out the amounts. Right. I see that. And it, you're aware it's not uncommon for studios to want to ensure. Um, not all of this is HIPAA. We'll talk about why it's not HIPAA happens, right? later. This is not. It's, it's happened it's uh, for three plus years for me. Correct. Yes or no? Um, so if you can scroll up. We'll please. talk about why it's and not in order HIPAA. To do that, you have to provide certain information to see if you're insurable, right? Correct. Okay. It's the information he and provided, and we're going to get to that. Signed, uh, dated, I believe, February 11th. I think their cadence is going to get broke up at the lunch, question, though. Um, are you currently using, uh, or in the le last 12 months, why. have you used any of the following? Uh, Michelle, let's let's unredact the, um, well, there, there's section B is illegal substances, whether prescribed by a physician or not. And you check the box. I don't the see right. that. Michelle, could you? It doesn't say. Where's it? Oh, that down here. Illegal substances, uh, whether prescribed. That. Where does it? What's yes and what's no? So we can yeah. see which one is yes and which one is no. We need to. We need to see which one's yes and which one's no. So the reason it's not violating HIPAA is because this is not a doctor releasing information, but there is privacy and in medical information, which is different. And they are redacting out private medical information that they have dealt with before um, in the motions in limine before trial started. But they are getting to the point of trying to say that he made false statements on this insurance form to be able to film um, Pirates 5 before his Thank finger you. was severed. That's what they're trying to so, get to. Is he lying about his drug use? Mr. And Depp, if he's lying when there, you were where else is he lying? In this cast insurance form, there are you go. currently Good using job, or in the past, last 12 months, have you used any of the following? You say yes, that you've used some prescription drugs. And when in the question that says illegal substances, whether prescribed by a physician or not, you check no. Correct? In the last yes. 12 months. No. Okay. At around this time when you were, you can take that down. Thank you. At around this time when you flew to Australia in February of 2015, you were, um, you were starting to feel depressed about your role in pirates and your acting legacy generally, correct? I'm curious about that too. Were you? Well, let's do it this way. Let's, let's put up exhibit 350. Please. Go ahead and take our lunch. Sure. Let him finish the question. I was curious. Let's go ahead and take our lunch break. Go to 210, okay? Uh, so uh, don't talk to anybody. Don't discuss the case. Uh, so he checked yes to using prescription that. medication and no to using illegal substances. Uh, okay. We're going to see how long lunch is. Could be an hour. Okay. 
could not be. They're going to let the jury exit the room. Then they'll right, do the so little housekeeping. Till 210. Till 210. Right. Okay. So an hour and 10 minutes. So uh, I'm going to get to questions and super chats. And then we will, and this is 210 Eastern time. So about an hour and 10 minutes from now, we will be back with this testimony. I'm going to get to questions and super chats, and we're going through that. Um, question, how can an illegal substance be prescribed? It's a good question. It's a strange way to say it on the form because that form asked about doctor prescribed substances and illegal substances. They are trying to say that on the plane he was using illegal substances, and that was not more than a year before he signed this agreement. They're going to get into the weeds on this. It'll be interesting to see if it really has much impact or not. But we have quite a lot of your questions to get through. Just a reminder. Um, one, if you are new here, hi and welcome. I'm Emily D. Baker. I am a attorney. I've been an attorney for over 15 years. I was a deputy district attorney. I did a lot of trial work, which is why I'm interested in breaking down this civil case going on in Virginia. I have a podcast called The Emily Show. New episode out yesterday with my roundup of week one of this trial and a little bit of what's going on in the Kardashian Black China trial that is going on in Los Angeles. Um, you can follow me around the social medias at The Emily D. Baker. So, with that, we are going to get into these questions and then see if we have a little bit of time to take a quick break before we get into the afternoon stream. <clears throat> and I think, well, let's just go. We'll just go and see. We'll just go and see if we have time to get into an afternoon stream. Um, Rebecca, we're going to also, we're going to hydrate. We're going to hydrate and mind our business. Um, light bulb for me when Rotten Bomb asked Johnny Depp if verbal abuse as bad as physical seems attempt to back off physical abuse claims and leave room to argue Johnny Depp admits verbal abuse, ergo no defamation. It's possible because she says in that article, the heart of all this is defamation, and she says domestic abuse. They're going to argue that there's context around that, but it is. They are trying to, well, they're the defense. They have to give themselves like, areas for the jury to go, I don't think this is, this is defamatory. Thanks for live coverage. Really helps get your insight. Wonder how a jury is receiving this case. I am so curious and we don't see the jurors faces. The lawyers do. I'm very interested to see how a jury is reacting to this. Um, he is a huge, huge fan of HST and Patty Smith. He is influenced by them. Read them and you'll understand his writing, but the jury doesn't have that information. So for us as lay people, we can do research the jury can't do research. So when I ask questions, who's this? What is that? The jury needs that information. All the jury can consider is what they are told from a document, a photo, or a witness on the stand, or what they hear in other items of evidence, audio recording, video recording. They can't do any exterior research. We, through the chat, have had a lot of information come in that gives context, but the jury doesn't have that context. And it's a problem when everyone in this case is so familiar with this case. They've done depositions. They've done the UK trial. This has been going on since 2018. They are so familiar with the facts. Sometimes the lawyers can skip over things that a jury that doesn't know a lot about this case because again, they were selected on the jury. They don't have a lot of knowledge about this case. They don't have room to fill in the gaps. The gaps have to be filled in for them by the evidence. So when I ask those questions, it's like, you know, I see you guys in the chat and I appreciate the context, but the jury doesn't get that context. So it, it does matter. Um, is Amber Heard's black escape bag gone? I'm not sure what that's in reference to. I don't know if that was coming in at the time we were seeing those photos and I will go share those on social media at the break when I can. Thank you for the super stickers. Um, Ghostly Gamer, how did they get those texts? Are they not private? Those all came through the process of discovery in this civil di dispute. They both were supposed to turn over items from their phones. There are items that haven't been turned over by Amber Heard. I don't know what's happened with those items. We haven't seen a court ruling on them, but there are items that have been turned over by both sides with regards to this. That's why they have the text. The texts between the two parties are not privileged because they are party opponents. So even though they were spouses at the time, they are opposite to each other. So those texts can come in. And the texts can come in as to what Depp said. D 
did you text this? Not to what was texted back to him. Like what Paul Bettany texted to Johnny Depp's irrelevant, other than it gives context of the conversation. What Depp said is what matters. And again, they're not getting to the truth of the matter. It's the fact that it was said and it, you know, they can look at it as an admission by a party opponent. Um, TBHI, I feel like Depp is doing a great job today. He could be, t- uh, he could be tired yesterday when Cross started. Amber looked pissed when he was talking about Elton. He seems a little snarky today. I don't know how a jury will take that. He also seemed evasive in some of his answers today. And I don't know how a jury will take that. Depp clearly wants to give context. That's not what cross-examination is for. It's not a space for him to give context. Um, Robbie Ann, how is he respectful of the court's time, but he doesn't have the redactions ready? It's a fair point. When Rottenborn cuts Depp off, he says, I'm trying to be respectful of the court's time. And we heard Depp snap back at him a little and say, well, you take five minutes to find a document. I don't know why some of these things aren't redacted in advance. They know what's going to need to be redacted and they should have two copies ready to go, but they don't. Um, Okay. We answered about the texts. Thank you. Julia T, do you think the texts are bad? We're comparing her to a witch, Monty Python style. Maybe she did something ridiculous, dark jokes in a mild tone. It'll, it honestly, it's up to the jury to decide, not us. It gives context. I really think they are using those texts to show another side to Johnny Depp. Look, this is how he showed you who he was, but we're showing you the real Johnny Depp. That's what they said in their opening statement. We're going to show you the real Johnny Depp. So they're going to characterize that those text messages show the real Johnny Depp. My concern with them doing that is that, um, they're taking things that are clearly hyperbolic, like the thousand Red Bulls, and they're giving it too much weight in seriousness instead of saying, well, you were clearly joking about the Red Bulls, but the rest of it seems, you know, accurate. They're giving a lot of weight to that hyperbole, which is a problem. Um, what is Amber wearing auditioning for Pirate 6? I, I don't know why she's in a three-piece suit today. It seems like she's um, she's mirroring his outfits, and that has been widely speculated about online. It's interesting, for sure. Um, Mimi says part of the cycle of abuse is those few moments where everything is good and gives a false sense of changed behavior. It is a roller coaster. I hope that we will see a expert in cycle of violence talking about those cycles, but even in difficult relationships and abusive relationships, there are high moments and there are good points, but I don't think that, um, discounts it. I wonder if they're trying to show, look, The way Johnny Depp is painting this picture is not the entire picture. See, he didn't talk about the good times. See, there are good times. You can't rely on his portrayal because see, he's addled. See, he's an addict. You have to rely on Amber's version of events, not Depp's version of events. And they're going to keep leaning into that. Some of that, I think, is fueled by the fact that the UK judge discounted just about everything Depp presented and leaned into the credibility of Amber Heard, which gives them some um, encouragement, if you will, to kind of lean into that. See, jury, discount what he's telling you happened. Our story is the real version of events. I think that's what they're trying to paint with some of these messages. Um, Sirox and Emily, what is your stance so far? Heard guilty or not too early to tell. So the languaging in this case and not to be picky, but lawyer, the languaging in this case is not guilty, not guilty. It's going to be liable or not liable for defamation. I don't think we're there yet. We're not at the end of Johnny Depp's case. This is a difficult defamation case. Johnny Depp said it yesterday very clearly. When the allegations were made, I lost he might win in the court of public opinion and still lose in court. That is a real possibility. It's a real possibility that both sides lose in court. And they say, you know what? This isn't defamatory. This is defamatory. It's going to come down to what the jury decides um, abuse means. What does the jury decide the face of abuse means? If the jury decides this is an abusive relationship, does that make Amber Heard's statements defamatory? It is a difficult case where the hair splitting is going to matter on how the jury characterizes the Washington Post article and what Amber Heard's experiences are and what Johnny Depp's experiences are. Some might say, is it fair for her to characterize herself as the face of domestic abuse when she was being abusive? No, it's not fair. That is defamatory. It paints a picture that he was the only abuser, and therefore that's defamatory because it paints a picture that she was completely... um, completely the victim in all of this. And some might say they were both abusive to each other. So it's fair to say abuse because both of them were. It's really going to matter how the jury decides to parse 
this. So that's why it matters so much. And that's why we're seeing so much of this back and forth. Patty, thank you so much, Emily Mods and Ponards. The mods have been riding today. Um, Whimsical Devil said, as a survivor of DV, I can confirm this is the cycle of abuse. It goes from the peak of happiness mountain to the abyss of despair, pain, and rage. I was about to marry my abuser too. Glad I didn't. Glad you didn't too. And anyone on this jury that has any experience with seeing this cycle, it will be well familiar to them. Um, Emily will do the same for her text messages to her friends when it is time. Oh, yes. Depp's team will do this on cross to her. That Again, I think this trial is very sad and it's going to be a lot of mutually assured destruction on both sides. Um, Laura S said she has been wearing glasses all along. I just hadn't seen them. I hadn't clocked them yet. So they stuck out to me, but if she has been, then she has been. Thank you for the super stickers. Do you think the jury will see the mocking of him? I don't know if they'll interpret it that way. I depend if we're talking about the outfits, which is what I think this came in during, um, during the audio, I think they'll hear it in some of the audio where she's mocking him. I think they'll hear that. With the outfits, I don't know. What I will say is juries are very perceptive. All they have to look at is what's going on in court. No phone to distract them. No outside input to distract them. They are sitting there just looking at this day in and day out. And with that, they might clock the outfits. They might not. It might not occur to them. Um, and again, that's that might be something that's kind of the collective consciousness of the interwebs. So it really depends. But they do notice they are perceptive. They might notice her changing and fluctuating style of dress because um, they have nothing else to look at. I had jurors after trial ask about, hey, on day two, the day you did this witness or that witness, you wore these shoes. Where did you get them? Or, hey, I liked the water bottle you had the one day and then you didn't. Or I liked the pens you were using during jury selection. What were those? They notice fine detail because they have nothing else to look at. Um, Amanda said, but these are proving JD's point. The text where he says that Amber thinks it's a monster is from 2013. The other texts from him calling it um, that are later. Uh, maybe. And again, redirect Redirect is going to help. What about when Amber wanted JD to bring her drugs? Again, on redirect, and they've got to lean into the jury's memory. The cross-examination is not to point out both sides. The cross-examination is to get across Amber Heard's side. The direct examination is to get across Johnny Depp's side. These are opposite sides. They are not meant to point out the benefits for the other. This is not a criminal trial. This is mutually assured destruction in a civil courtroom. There is no obligation to point out anything helpful to the other side. None at all. They are going to hammer on their side, and then they're going to hammer away at the other side. What does hearsay mean, Emily? We are not going to do a full legal lesson on hearsay, but generally hearsay is something that is not spoken by the person in court that is offered for the truth of the matter. So if I heard uh, Dr. Baker say, let's go out for sushi, and I'm offering that to prove that people went out for sushi, then that's hearsay because I heard it from him. Or if he told me, oh my God, this and this. I mean, there's tons of exceptions to this, like presence and impression and others, but it's generally words from someone else being offered for the truth. If you want to offer what someone said for the truth of the matter, you need to bring them in. There are a lot of exceptions to that. And I think both sides here have tried to offer things that could be hearsay that are falling within exceptions. And I don't think they've artfully argued the hearsay objections with this judge. Every time it's like, oh, well, so-and-so said, the judge is like, it's hearsay, even though there's a lot of exceptions to that, um, where things can be offered that are other people's statements that are not being offered for the truth of the matter. Have we seen glasses even once before? Tiffany, I didn't think so. Um, I hadn't seen them. Elisa said, as some of the media and internet um, beings have said, quote, Amber Heard is so scared of Johnny Depp that she is directly copying his trial looks with heavy satire on that. It's definitely interesting. Um, thank you for the super sticker, Miriam. It's it's been interesting. Um, Cali Marijuana Co Medical, nineteen ninety six Recreational, twenty sixteen. So there we. Thank you for clocking the dates on those. Um, Sarah said, "Why wouldn't you be drinking whiskey and doing cocaine before you do a documentary about Keith Richards?" This is dumb. I mean, it's a very fair point. Matt Bond as mandatory as weed with Willie Nelson. I mean, it's a fair point. They were like weren't you talking about rock stars and doing drugs? And he's like, yeah, but the photo did look very neatly laid out. 
Um, Jeannie Jolie said, Amber Heard's attorney, have you done Coke in a box? Have you done? <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to keep reading. This is brilliant. Have you done Coke in a box? Have you done it with a fox? Have you done Coke in a box with a shoe? Um, we get it. The man is done all kinds of lines in his life. Have you done it? <laughs> very green eggs and ham. Have you done it on a boat? Have you done it with a goat? Have you done it here or there? Have you done it everywhere? Have you done Coke, Mr. Depp? Very, very much. Thank you for the super sticker. I also love this comment. You open the box, put your poop in the box, snort your Coke in the box. Very, uh, very dick in the box. Tori said, I know I'm a little biased, which is, I mean, again, we're all watching a civil trial, but I was in a movie with Amber Heard for multiple days when she was engaged to Johnny Depp. And I remember her being horrible. I mean, I think we will see some more witnesses talking about that. We definitely saw it from uh, Keenan Wyatt, the lovely sound engineer with the great hair, saying, I remember this flight because she unhinged on me. And he seemed like such a lovely man. Good morning, Emily. Good morning, Josie. Will you be uploading any short clips? I have been on Instagram and TikTok. I have not gotten them up to the clips channel fast enough, but there will be some today. Um, I want to see your reaction to the pressure of the kiss on the cheek, but I didn't know where to look. I haven't done a reaction to that yet, but I should. It was ridiculous testimony. It's like, so you, he's like, just, I, I kissed her on the cheek. And she's like, so you kissed her on the cheek really hard. He's like, what is the velocity of kissing someone on the cheek? This is why people hate lawyers. Not just these lawyers, all lawyers. Don says, is it me or does the attorney seem lost flustered? He seemed to get a little flustered in there a little bit. He, when you start getting the, but your honor. Then you can see the flusteredness. Jessica said, I need those baggies to get through this long trial. I think that's in reference to the four bags of marijuana. The nuanced take said, watching um, Rotten Butts cross-examination is a perfect example of how my ADHD brain works when I'm asked to do something semi-complicated. We're here. Now we're there. What are we talking about again? I was very lost. I think his questioning is probably exhausting to a lot of you. I was very lost in some of his questions. I'm like, I am not following you, sir. Emily, have you ever done a video on how attorneys read a jury in real time? I have not. Love your commentary. Thank you. I think all attorneys do it differently. I can talk about how I read a jury in real time, but all attorneys can do it differently and some do it better than others. Not all attorneys, not all people are good at reading other people, but reading a jury is really reading other people. You can, I don't know. Some of us can feel it. You can feel the room. You can read the room. When Johnny Depp's getting laughs, we can hear the audio. I can't see if those are coming from the gallery or if the jury's laughing along a little bit. If the jury's laughing along a little bit, it says one thing. If the jury's like, it definitely gives a different impression. So um, Lou Lou K said, sorry, marijuana relaxes you, not makes you aggressive. So I mean, I don't know what the point of all of that was. Emily, can you speak a little about the relevance of outfit choices and why you find the clear frame glasses interesting? I find the clear frame glasses interesting because I had not seen them before in other trial days. Maybe they were there, maybe they weren't. But Depp wore his clear frame framed reading glasses a lot yesterday and the day before. And now we're seeing her put them on. There's been a lot of parallels in their outfit choices. I find outfit choices very interesting because it generally signals something. These are intentional choices made for a reason. And I want to understand what it is because again, juries are sitting there to judge you. People judge each other on what they're wearing and how they look. There's a sense that a jury wants to see Amber Depp and Johnny Heard as Jesus, Emily, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp as humans, not as Hollywood celebrities. So does having her hair professionally done every day read as relatable does it read as relatable as Johnny Depp? This trial boils down to who the jury believes and who they like more. That's it. Clothing choices absolutely matter because it's one of those things that gives you um, a sense of a person. So Jennifer said, day one, Amber Heard wears what Johnny Depp wore the last day of UK day two. Johnny Depp, black Gucci B tie, Amber Heard next day. And that's where some of this is coming from. And if you guys look, if you're inclined to look, you can see the parallels of their outfits throughout. It's very interesting. Um, some have deeper takes on it than I do. I'm with the, it's interesting and I'm now clocking it. Like I'm now noticing it each day. Um, I wonder if he was trying to paint the drug fueled monster persona, but Johnny isn't cooperating. I mean, Johnny's definitely not going to cooperate. The thing that's interesting is that Johnny Depp's answers are kind of vague, but when he's like, but you said this generally when he's pulling up, you said this, 
it's not that different from what's being said on the stand. So I don't know if it's getting him very far. The attorney seems a bit flustered. He did seem a bit annoyed. Maybe he's hungry. Aren't we all? I'm hungry too. I would love to know if Amber ever went to visit Johnny's sick mother. I wish his lawyers had asked that. It's clear that she didn't give a shiz about him, but I wish his attorneys had inserted the knife and twisted. I don't know if it's super relevant. I don't think a door has been opened for it yet, but the door might be open now because now they are on cross-examination. The door might be open now. On cross, they are trying to paint, but your kids liked her. You liked her. She was your angel. She was your caregiver. So the things you said in text are not the same as what you said on the stand and on redirect, which probably is going to happen on Monday at this rate, um, if not into Tuesday, on redirect, you're going to get a, but then what happened? So your kids at one point liked her, but then what happened? Uh, So she was a caregiver to you. You talked about her taking off your boots and pouring you a glass of wine. When did that change? How did that change? Were there good moments and bad moments. Why did you text this to her mother? We're going to get into all of the whys behind what we're seeing. Stephanie said, I think both are at fault. Him getting involved with an upcoming actress expecting true love. He was thinking with his South brain. Amber also has a take on it. Both at fault need to move on. They definitely need to move on. I hope after this trial that they can. Um, I have migraines and ADHD. Do glasses really help? They very much helped for me. These are a Erlen lens. That's why they're tinted. They very, very much help for me. Um, one AAA, two AAA, three AAA, four bags of weed. Yes. One, two, three, four. He was like four or more, but that's again, that's the attorney kind of characterizing things. Interesting. Will you cover James Franco's testimony? If he testifies, I will try to, depending on where in the world Emily D. Baker is at the moment. The outfit is supposed to show Johnny's projection. I don't know. Sure, maybe. Um, I can't believe Johnny Depp is a drugging drugger. I am very disappointed. I'm reading that with sarcasm because, again, I don't think any of us are surprised. Uh, Johnny Depp seems sad. Some of this seemed very, very sad. Sitting at Nashville Biscuit House, watching the live. I've never been to Nashville Biscuit House. I've been to Biscuit Love. Sending love. That sounds delicious, but it is lunchtime and I am getting hungry. Um, Do they think everyone with a drug problem is an abuser? I mean, it seems that they're trying to characterize it that way. She also used drugs. Is this the point of all of the drug convos? I think memory is the bigger point of the drug convos, but I think there's parts of that. I think they are trying to lean into that. But yes, she also used drugs. And yes, it's absolutely going to come up. Johnny Depp's test messages, modern Shakespearean insults. Some of them, some of them are rough. Um, from everything you've heard, who do you believe want to win? I'm with Johnny Depp. I, I, I really don't have a want to win. I want to hear everything. My curiosity has overridden. I want to hear all the things. And then I might have more of an opinion, but I want to know everything. That's where I'm at. I am on the side of we know everything. I am on the side of, I want to see everything. I am on the side of, this is playing out. This is happening. Let's watch it happen. Um, And as we get closer to closing, I will tell you legally what I think should happen. Legally, this is a tough case. Do I think Johnny Depp might win this in the court of public opinion? Maybe. Or will it be mutually destructive and they both wreck themselves with how much private information is coming public? Maybe. But what I'm seeing right now online is a lot of support for Johnny Depp and a lot of people saying, I didn't understand how much there was. And I think he said yesterday, um, when the allegations were made, I lost. And no matter what happens in this trial, I've already lost so much. So maybe this is his way to at least get his entire story out there. And it doesn't really matter to him who wins. I can see the jury very reasonably saying no one defamed everyone. No one defamed anyone. Y'all need to walk away. I can see that being the result. No one's liable for anything. Done. Just done. Uh, Kay Bragg said the vast majority, I love your glasses in your profile picture. I got distracted for a second. I was like, glasses, fabulous. The vast majority of people who suffer with the disease of addiction are not a harm to others. Most often they harm themselves. I get they need um, to defend their client, but it further stigmatizes addicts. Amber Heard's team does not care about anything other than Amber Heard, which is, again, which is their their prerogative and their job at this point. I I, I hear you, but that is absolutely what, um, what they're doing. They are trying to lean into the stigma of addicts. They are trying to get the jury to lean in with them. That is what they are trying to do. They 
don't care about anything except the four walls of that courtroom. They are doing their job. So I think us having a conversation about it in real time, um, because we're not on the jury and we're, we have no input in the jury counteracts that a little, we're having that conversation. The jury might also have that conversation when they go back to deliberate. But I think a lot of what we've seen here is that Johnny Depp does, um, does turn his numbing inward. We've seen a lot of that. It's actually been tremendously sad to watch how much he he's done to himself. Amber said about the term monster, my abusive ex called me crazy white girl and I adopted it to the point it was my Twitter bio. I don't think him using the word with others is the gotcha they think it is. Amber, I appreciate that perspective so much. I don't think so either. And I think Depp explained it. The uh, A, they're going to have an expert come in, but B, I think Depp explained it well when he said, he was placating. Like I took these things on to placate her and this became part of his vernacular. But again, they're going to try it. I think all the drug talk about Amber Heard definitely is working in, will come into the case in chief that Amber Heard is just a wife who's trying to save Johnny Depp from his drug use. It They might be trying to characterize it that way. Absolutely. Um, she is one of those who fakes glasses for attention. Don't fake the glasses. There are things. Let us have our visual needs. Um, Lulu Kesa just became a member after hearing the audio. I think that the jury will understand him being mad and using nasty comments. I know I would be fuming. And maybe the audio, again, audio has a more visceral response to a jury than reading a, than reading a transcript. And Rottenbaum reading it at some point is going to be like wah, wah, wah to them, especially after lunch. Uh, Bohemia said Johnny Depp is generous, vulnerable, a wounded soul. That makes him such a great artist. Amber is a soul and selfless, meaning she has no self and therefore mimics her style. Um, I We will see. And again, she was subjected to a psychological exam and that expert will probably testify. So we will see. I'm not going to speculate on her, um, anything diagnosable. We will see. Does she show characteristics of being abusive? Yes. Does that mean that she wasn't necessarily abused? No. Does all of that mean that her statements in the Washington Post are defamatory or not defamatory? The jury's going to have to decide. Michelle said, do you think that Amber's Amber Heard expected more pushback from his team to agitate Depp and it would kind of backfired? I don't know what they expected, really. I think they really just want to get those parts of the transcript in that they think are helpful. I think that's what they want. Um, Aries, Aries Rainbow Child said, could you even sue the FBI? Angelina Jolie is doing it. I have no idea what that's in relation to. Um, can you sue law enforcement? Yes, it's not easy, but in, there are ways to do that. Thank you for the super sticker, but I don't know what that's relating to. The only Jolie Depp stuff I'm, or the Jolie Pitt stuff that I'm covering is the wine. I've got a bottle of Miraval back there because I'm fascinated by that. There's a theory that we are subconsciously trying to recreate relationships that wound us emotionally in the hope that we can get a different outcome. I think that's another reason he married her. We will let the experts testify and see what they have to say about it. They can't speculate too much. They can explain behavior patterns and they can explain um, well-established behavior patterns. Didn't the lawyer instruct Depp that this case is about the defamation in the article and now he's asking about use of drugs before that I'm lost? He started yesterday on cross saying, isn't this case about this? And now we have wandered well off. But I think, again, it's going to go to memory. She had wine and whiskey waiting for him. That's what he, he said. Yes. And I'm sure it'll come up, but the jury probably remembers it. Thank you for the super sticker. All right, you guys, we are going to get through these so we can take a bit of a break. Um, who do you think want to win? I'm with, I, I read that one. Thank you, Ricky. I think I covered that. There are a couple of Depp responses that would make amazing merchandise. I would love a happy hour one. I mean, he's had some quips for sure. In your opinion, whose legal team is better? Do you know any of these lawyers? I don't know any of these lawyers. I'm not there yet with making an assessment. I want to see how they continue to perform. It's very hard for me without hearing the sidebars. I would love to see how they communicate with the judge. Um, Keta B said, my granny says, love and hate are two horns from the same bull. I feel this sums up those two a lot. Food for thought, I guess. Big love from the UK. I mean, he describes some of it as two sides of the same coin. Um, Sarah, could they try and present him as a drug pusher to Amber? Maybe. I don't know if the evidence will bear that out with her friends, but maybe. Um, P-Dub said, doesn't it align with him saying she made up stuff? Some of this might, especially with the um, 
her, the audio of her telling him, no, you did this, you did this, you did this. Maybe. I love when you get sassy, Emily, you're the best. Thank you. Sometimes it comes out. Uh, Kit Kat, but why did she take the picture to embarrass him? Blackmail humiliation. I don't know the picture of him. I'm assuming passed out with the ice cream down his front. I don't know. I hope they ask her why when she testifies, at least on cross-examination, the cross-examination question would go something like this. You gave him that ice cream, didn't you? Yes or no. You gave him that ice cream because you knew he was falling asleep because he was using opioids. Yes or no. And when you did that, you knew that this would fall and spill and you didn't pick it up. No, you didn't pick it up or clean it up. What you did was take a picture of your husband passed out on a couch with ice cream spilling down him. Who did you send it to? Why did you send it to them? What were you trying to accomplish? You were trying to embarrass, not what were you trying to accomplish? That's too open. You were trying to embarrass him, weren't you? You were going to use this for later, weren't you? You were going to use this to tell him what a terrible person he was, weren't you? That's the cross-examination there in my mind. His drug use is self-inflicted harm, a reach to say it made him dangerous to others, in my opinion. And the jury might see it the same way as it's reaching. Is it a takeaway for us that we should never delete our text messages in case we get sued? I don't know. Um, I don't know the upside of saving and or deleting. I think when you are going through things that are contentious with people or things are starting to get contentious, save everything and document everything. A motion for a grumpy member emoji um, be added so we can say yeet a grumpy. Uh, motion granted. I will write it down and try to remember. Why are Johnny Depp's lawyers missing objections? I don't know if they're missing them. I think they're choosing not to object. And we saw this with Amber Heard's lawyers yesterday. They are allowing some of this to go. And there are reasons to do it. If they are looking at the jury and the jury's not on Amber Heard's attorney's sides, you let that go. He is a witness. He can take care of himself. He's not, he's not uh, in distress. So let it go unless it matters. And we saw them objecting when it mattered to the medical records, to some hearsay and stuff like that. Um, I get annoyed and I'm going to call it like I'm calling, I don't know, a UFC fight when I get annoyed with the objections. I'm just going to call them from here. I'm not the one who's strategizing how that goes in front of the jury because we can't see the jury. If they take these texts and emails literally, then they have to do the same with her knife and Josh Drew texts implying murder to harm to Johnny. And that's the, again, that's the other side of the coin. We're going to see some unflattering texts come in for her. And she did send him a knife that said till the death. Could Amber Heard be insisting they ask certain questions? I'm sure she and her team had conversations about the direction of what they wanted to ask, but after how much they've gone into, and I think I answered this already, how much they've gone into um, between the depositions and the UK trial, they know where they want to go with this. Um, Ghostly Gamer said, do you think that Johnny hates the silences in between questions? Yes, I do. Is that why he's trying to fill the room? Possibly. It's it can be deeply uncomfortable to just sit there and quiet and not say anything. So yes, it can be just pure discomfort. LOL. Mike Tyson was just in the news minutes ago for beating up an unruly jet blue passenger. I have not looked at the news while we are live, but I will definitely take a look. Maybe the lawyer is trying to be blundering and cause an angry reaction from JD in front of the jury. Always possible. Strategy is always possible. I truly believe they need to get their money back and just call it a wash because if they don't prove defamation here, this whole damn trial bringing the trash to light proves it now. I think Johnny Depp feels like he's already lost everything and he wants, he wants it all to be seen. This might just be mutually assured destruction. I want it all to be seen. I don't care how bad it makes me look. I want you all to see it and I want you to see it now. It's possible. Um, have I mentioned like and subscribe? We're almost at 207,000 subs or just a few away from binging. And maybe we will bing after lunch. I'm going to have to populate a new stream in a minute. I'm going to try to get through the rest of these super chats because we I found it very helpful to break the streams and go to new streams, which is always hard for me because we do have over 9,000 people here. And I, I don't want to lose y'all, but I also um, love myself and my mods enough to get, want to give everybody a break and uh, create a new stream for it. So Hello from Finland. Can I know why he is suing only for the article instead of all the false abuse accusations that happened before? Statute of limitations. There is a limited period of time for which you can sue. He didn't sue earlier. That statute, that ship sailed, as it were. And with that ship sailing, the only real option here is this article. So that's why he ran out of time. He didn't do it fast enough. 
and ran out of time. I think he was hoping this would all go away. And we saw yesterday a conversation about, I'm trying to remember accurately. We saw a conversation about um, the marital agreement or the disillusion agreement when they got divorced. And in the disillusion agreement, we saw them talking or Johnny Depp talking on the stand about the fact that they were releasing a mutual statement and no other statements were to be made. I wonder if, and this is my speculation, I wonder if with that agreement, he thought that the damage is done, but it's stopping now. Like nothing else is going to happen. We have this agreement. There's a settlement agreement. And the settlement agreement says we can't make other statements, which is very common with settlements. So I'm wondering if he thought it was over. And then when she made this Washington Post um, article, he, he was like, what the fuck? You, this was supposed to be done. And now you're saying two years ago, that's clearly directed to our divorce. I'm done. So I wonder if that's part of why he chose to do that. Um, so let's see. I'm not a lawyer, but it seems to me that all of the Amber Heard gotcha moments seem to be a nothing burger. It probably feels that way in court too. If anything, it seems to be helping possibly endearing Johnny Depp or making his side more understood. Maybe very, 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 maybe. Being in a mutually abusive relationship is different than being the face of an abused woman. Sarah Ann, I hear you. It's going to be up to the jury to decide that. And that's really the, where, we're, where we're going to come down to. And if the jury says, look, you can't characterize yourself as the sole victim in this when this was a, a two-way street or when he was verbally abusive and loud, but you were physically abusive, they might, um, they might find, they might agree with you 100%. Um, giraffe said abusers don't apologize for anything. They gaslight the one abused and blame all their actions on the one being abused. His apologies tells it all. They are going to need an expert to explain that to the jury as evidence they can consider because the jury can't rely on that so much. Um, Don said writing about Puritans and their views on sports while listening to Emily D. Baker and Johnny Depp. What is my life? I mean, what is their views on all of the language that's being used in this trial? Why is there not a chart with a timeline? Because the attorneys haven't put one in. It would be helpful for all of us, um, but they didn't put one in. So that's why. <laughs> that's why. Hopefully they'll do one for closing. Maybe they won't. Um, it would be helpful if they did. But again, maybe they won't. Um, I'm trying to remember what time's court starting at 210. So we're going to start the next stream at 205. I'm going to go ahead and populate that stream uh, Miguelina, if you want to grab it, I'm going to populate it now. If you want to grab it and link it here so we know where the next stream is, because I'm going to try to wrap these as quick as I can to take just a few minutes to get some lunch and go to the bathroom. So Amber um, made many recordings, and this was while he was in pain from detoxing, so it's taken out of context. If, again, I don't disbelieve this, his attorneys need to circle back to that because that's going to piss off the jury. Like if you're telling me this is because in my brain's going too fast in opening statements, you heard Amber's attorney talking about him being in the back of a plane moaning. And then you heard it being asked on cross-examination of, um, of Wyatt, Keenan Wyatt with the, with the great hair. This is me, Keenan Wyatt with the great hair. You, you, heard him being asked about, wasn't he in the back of the plane moaning? They've already tried to connect those two incidents. So if these recordings were made during his detox, which he has talked about being incredibly painful, and it's kind of shoehorned in to characterize it as it being on that flight from Boston, it's incredibly disingenuous. And if I was a jury, I would feel tremendously misled by that, and it would piss me off. So if that might be the gotcha moment of this. Thank you for the super sticker. Isabel, I thought this was a great question. Is the chat a good representation of the jury? Yes and no. And here's why no. Because a lot of us are coming into this with more information than this jury has. The jury is coming in with people who haven't been following this case, don't know about Johnny Depp, don't know about Amber Heard, and shouldn't really care one way or the other. So this, a good representation of the jury is your friend. You're like, oh my God, are you watching this trial? And they're like, who, what? That's a good representation of the jury. We here tend to have a little bit more knowledge, but we are a good representation in the way that how we perceive what's happening, like how we're reading things gives a big sampling on how we're reading behavior and body language and things that are being said. 
Do his lawyers suck because they're not objecting? No, I think some of that's strategy. Um, so how is not shielding a strategy? Shielding shows that he needs to be protected or that he's doing something wrong. So if they're jumping in too much, it can show that he's saying something he's not supposed to or that there's information they don't want the jury to hear. And the jury can take that as things being hidden from them, which they are not going to like. He needs to not be evasive in his answers, but his jur- his attorneys confidently letting him continue to answer runs with the truth. Why should the truth be protected? So there is a strategy to that as well. No, we don't need to protect him. And then you really heard them objecting to medical evidence and His attorney should be making the legal grounds of the objections, but they were making speaking objections almost to explain what they were objecting to. Objection, this is medical medical information that we've already agreed shouldn't come in. So they're making it clear to the jury, I think, that they're not hiding anything. And that is very important when this case comes down to who do you believe. Question, if a case is heavily dependent on audio evidence, do they test juror hearing? No, they don't. (laughs) They sure don't. Um, But they will give them the audio and make it available in the jury room. And sometimes they will give them headphones if they need to listen to it with headphones to hear it better. So the jury can make themselves comfortable hearing those things. Um, And they should give them transcripts. And those transcripts should have been agreed upon before they got there. Team Depp, but wondering why they don't run with a narcotic argument instead of making up an alcoholic one. I think they're trying to say he was blacked out. So I don't know why. Um, I think they're trying to say that it affected his memory. Does she wear the watch like that so she can check her watch without it being obvious? Possible, Very possible. Very, very, very possible. But it was so loose. Tech love and mama, good to see you. I just wanted to show some love and say hi. Thank you for all your hard work and helping us understand what's going on. Hope you and the fam are well. We're good. I'm just a little tired. (laughs) Misopinionated, what does the insurance form have to do with the DV allegations? It doesn't. It has to do with his veracity. Johnny Depp has been an actor for 30 plus years. Actors are never guaranteed jobs. I think it has to do with his veracity. Did he lie on that form? Um, Hempland, Texas or TX said, I hope the jury hates rotten born as much as I do. They may, they may not. I don't think he's completely innocent, but I think he was provoked, chastised, and cornered if he ever did anything to her. And the jury may come away with that too. Thank you for the super stickers, Vicky. Appreciate it. Um, I want to know why they would put Johnny up if they have more witnesses. Don't they usually leave him for last? Vicky, this is a great question. I'm sure this is strategy. If they are going to use expert testimony about cycle of violence, about relational violence, and other information that's going to bolster his testimony, the strategy might be to put him up now, like give enough groundwork, put him up now, and then use the other evidence to bolster the truthfulness of his testimony and give more context to it. And that bolsters what he said. So that might be that they're kind of sandwiching his testimony to give him more credibility before we get into her testimony. That's that's the way I see it. Instead of leaving him for absolutely last, they might also need him for a foundation for some of these things before an expert can testify. Um, Brad Pitts in seven. That's all I can think of what's in the box. <laughs> Fair enough. As a paralegal who recently spent days redacting trial exhibits, not having redactions prepared in advance is making me twitchy. Same. Cause they can have two. look, they can have two. They can have a proposed redaction copy and a clean copy to show the other side in the court. It's not hard to have two copies. If the lawyer EDB is lost, imagine the jury. I mean, it's fair. <laughs> it's fair. And I'm very much trying to pay attention with like 9,000 of you on stream trying to have this conversation. I very much want to not be lost. But then I'm also like, but where are we now? We are, we are, we have wandered. Elizabeth said, Emily, you are my favorite YouTube human to watch. Thank you. I thought about the ways in which Johnny meanders from the questions presented to him or does not answer exactly what was asked. I continue in the regular chat. Thank you. I am pondering too. It's, it seems to be his regular cadence of speech. I'm trying to be unbiased. How much does his pain and going through detox have anything to do with her accusing him of abuse? It doesn't, but it has to go The reason he brought up the detox is because he brought up her perceived cruelty to him during that process and the context around it. A lot of what we're getting into kind of wanders into deep context for what's happening here, but it's all coming in. Like it's all just coming in. Some of it I don't feel is super relevant either, but the court feels it's relevant enough to leave it in. So, oh my God, that 
one. Thank you. Do you think the judge is being partial to Amber? I don't. I think the judge, again, it's really, if we get to, I've started three sentences. I apologize. If we get to Amber's case in chief and she is not sustaining the same type of hearsay objections, then I might change my mind. But at this point, she has been consistent. I don't always think her rulings are right on hearsay, but she has been consistent in the way she's ruling on hearsay. And in the objections that have really mattered, the evidentiary objections, Depp's team has won those almost every single time. So I don't, I don't. Uh, Weed looked like, looked a little like for the Depp I've seen. I mean, it was, it's, it seemed like a lot of weed. Um, little light, not like, sorry, my bad. Yeah, you know, weed seemed a little light for the Depp I've seen the four bags. I mean, fair enough. Charlotte, based on how much each side is framing things in the way they are, what are the chances that either side is setting things up for a JMOL? I don't, I don't think any of them are are there. If this case was going to get dismissed, it would have gotten dismissed um, on the motions to dismiss. This is going to go to the jury. What would be your strategy if you were each of their lawyers? Oh, that's a very long answer. I don't have all the information um, to know exactly what my strategy would be. I think if I'm Amber Heard's lawyers, I'm focusing deeply on the defamation first and hammering that away. I don't know if I would hammer on the drug use so much because Amber's going to testify about that as well. Um, And it gives Johnny Depp more opportunities to say, no, you're wrong. No, that's your perception. No, that's how you want it to seem. And to constantly say, no, you're staging this. You're setting this up. You're setting me up. It's giving him a lot of opportunity to do that. If I'm Amber, if I'm Johnny Depp's team, again, I'm trying to make him likable. And that's, that's a big part of this. Make him relatable, not just a Hollywood star. Rebecca said, I love you. Thank you. I went home from sick from school and this has made it better. Well, I get you. We've got a long, a long way to go. Oh, we've got to get scooting. It's amusing as an addict in long-term recovery to see rotten mouth try to claim Johnny Depp was quote blackout drunk on that one flight while also proving texts that he sent before, after, et cetera, that were coherent and clear. KK, this is an excellent point. Did you just text this yet? Okay. Well, how blacked out were you if you're texting? This is an excellent point. This is a very excellent point. Um, does Johnny have hearing loss? He answered a number of the questions that were framed by the pronoun when, as if they were framed by the pronoun what, I don't know. Could be a strategy to get out evidence, but he is also a lifelong musician. He might, it might be fair. And we don't know what this sounds like in the courtroom. Sometimes sounds bounces in courtrooms. The insurance asked about the drugs in the past 21 days. I think it asked in the past 12 months, but we will see it again after lunch. I took a screenshot. Can lawyers watch this commentary on the trial? Lawyers can watch whatever they want. I don't know if they will. They should stay in their game and in their lane. They should they should be in where they're in. Changing strategy tends to be a mess. Interesting that on the day of cross, Amber is back in black. Back in black. When she's on the defensive, she's in white. When she's on the offensive, she's in black. That seems to be consistent. Back in black. Jody says, JD is a creative, but y'all, this is, this is how... Uh, I, I'm guessing that is us Southerners answer questions. We tell the whole story, whether you want it or not. We are trained that way. LOL. Love you. EDB. It doesn't always co- it sometimes come across, comes across evasive on cross. How much money do you think Johnny has spent lost during all of this? M- millions on millions. Love your coverage. Thank you. You're awesome. Thank you. Millions of millions. Go get yourself some cold brew. Emily, you deserve it. I mean, I don't even have time for cold brew. I'm going to definitely get myself a little bit more to drink, a little bit more to eat. Um, A person who was a spectator in court said that the jurors were, I didn't see the rest of that, but I'd be interested in what they're saying about the jurors. If you guys see that stuff on social, please tag me in it on Twitter so I can see it. Um, Because I would love to. So what millions for real? Oh, millions and millions. Look, the Cardi B Tasha K case went significantly shorter than this, less litigation than this, and had less lawyers than this and was over $1.4 million. This is millions and millions and millions of legal fees. The only reason I hope somebody wins is because I want to see the legal fees when we get to the law, uh, the damages portion, but we won't get there yet. Okay. This stream is going to pop you to the next stream. You can go over there and, and start partying in the chat. I am going to say goodbye. Thank you for being a law nerd. I will be back in like eh, 15 minutes. So I'm going to scoot mods. Be sure to take breaks as you need them. Be, for, be sure to hydrate and take care of yourself. And thank you for riding with me. Lawnards, thank you for riding with me. We are in for a long and seemingly arduous afternoon of cross. I will see you very shortly. 
Connect with me everywhere. I'm at the Emily D Baker. If you guys want to join the text, just text emily.com. If you want to join the channel, lawnerdsunite.com. Happy to have you support what we do here on the YouTube. 